So, welcome. It's a role-playing stream. Role-playing. We're doing role-playing. We're going to do role-play things. Yes. So, Price, why don't you let the people know what we're playing? Yes. So, uh, we are playing a one specifically uh, uh, made module for the campaign. Which uh, this one? Um, no, no, this that one. one. Yep. We are <laughs> for the um, role-playing system called Fate. Uh, it's a simple system. It's a free system. You can actually go onto their website. You can Ooh. find it for free. Uh, they'll give you, you get the two basic PDFs to learn how to play it. And then modules you find, you know, people make them all over the place. So we're using a specific module for Fate, uh, Fate Accelerated specifically, um, called uh, Uranium Chef, which is an intergalactic uh, reality show mm -hmm. in which contestants compete in order to try and win the favor of the universe when it comes to oh, flavor. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah. That was Merit with $20. Merit with $20 with the daily donates. So, uh, Uranium Chef, intergalactic uh, chef competition mm -hmm. in which you're attempting to ultimately reach the end of it. It's just like a reality show. People get voted off every time or lose by getting judged out and whatnot. And at the end, you would like to uh, challenge and defeat the Uranium Chef. Mm. Okay? The most feared and revered chef in the entire universe. Fear -veared. The known universe. Fear, fear veered, indeed. Fear veered. Refeared. Refeared. Um, so, obviously, we're not going to get through all of that today. We'll be doing an episode of the show, hopefully, as uh, depending on how long it goes. For all of us here, this is our first time playing Fate. It's my first time um, DMing Fate. Uh, but it's a fairly simple system, and it's really built around the concept of kind of collaborative storytelling. So it's very less uh, about the um, specifics of the stats and the rules, and more about a structure in order to have interactions. There are still turns. There are there is still combat. There is still stat sheets. Everybody's got a character sheet, um, but uh, it's not quite as intense as D and D might be with all like the little minutia. Not like, statistics quite a structure. This is gonna be a little bit yeah. more like your improv. Yeah. So, so, in order to start, I think the first thing would be for each of y'all to introduce us to your characters who are going to be entering into the competition. Okay. All right, give us a little description of your character and maybe why they're joining the competition. What right. it is that right, drives them? Who would like to start? We'll go clockwise. All right, I'll start. On. Let Ash get the cam is the camera on him. Oh yeah. Camera's on. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, my name is Zorba Borb. Also known as Zorby, Borb, Z Man, <laughs> or Borb, 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 Boran for short. Uh, I am uh, Seth Lovian from Seth Lobos. And a little bit of backstory uh, like all Seth Lovians, uh, I was born with four eyes, two brains, and eight tentacles. That's his, his character uh, over there yeah. in front of him. During my formative years, uh, I spent them in the slums of Druglia, the capital city of Seth Lobo. And I'd often spent hours staring through the kitchen window uh, of Zoflobo, watching the galactic master chef Yiz prepare all exquisite dishes for the rich and famous and drawing inspiration for my own meager dishes. Uh, though poor and lacking fancy ingredients, I learned to transform even the simplest meals into works of mouth art, a trademark term that I came up with. Mouth art, TM. Uh, soon word spread throughout the slum of the young chef who could transform Druglia's scraps into culinary masterpieces. And it wasn't long until I opened my own restaurant, Pookie Noops. Pookie Noops. <laughs> Pookie Noops. Everyone knows about Pookie Noops. Everybody did, that is, until uh, it seemed nothing could stop me in my rise to fame until Galactic Master Chef Yiz caught wind uh, of my successes. And in a fit of jealous rage, Yiz hired Druglia's most feared PR company, Grugly and Grugly, to sabotage Zorby Borb's hard-earned success. It wasn't long before the rumors of undercooked cuddle butts and spoiled for blow blows spread and Pookie Noops was forced to close. Now... Zorby Borb is prepared to step onto the galactic stage to test his metal against the finest chefs in existence and to take down Yiz once and for all. Rick, I if hope you're... to God that you remember every single word you just said. <laughs> oh, right. A lot of custom words in this. A lot Lobos, of custom words. Pookie Noops. We got it. A yeah. lot of custom words, I have to say. <laughs> so why, why are you joining the uh, competition? I'm joining the competition because I want to prove myself to the galaxy and especially to years yes. that yeah, I'm good yes. enough, I'm smart enough, and dagnabbit <sighs> people like me. Yep. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. It's your <laughs> turn. Go on. All right, I am Wendy Smith. Pop it up there, Ash. I think so. There Yay! Wendy! 
Yay. She's so cute. She is real cute. I am a human mutant. I am 232 years old. Do you have a little Whoa. thing huh? on your head? I got a... Uh, it's mutation. It's, okay. it's, it's a tumor. It's a giant yeah. tumor. Does it have a little on smile head. face on it's, it? It's benign. No, Don't worry. It's just got okay. a lot of little lumps. Okay. And I also okay. got more lumps on my other arm. Okay. She's lumpy. Right. In my early lumps. life, I was a short order cook for NASA's cafeteria. Mm. Slinging hash browns and eggs for scientists, mathematicians, and astronauts. Okay. okay. Looking to make some extra money, I made a deal with a dock loader to help restock supplies on a routine resupply. That was a dock loader, not a dockler. A dock loader, excuse me. To okay. help restock uh, the routine resupply shuttle to uh, the International Trade Station, or Space Station. All stacking boxes of freeze-dried food and other stuff. Inside the rocket's cargo, the automatic doors sealed me in and trapped me inside. I was launched into space without the protective suit uh, to shield me from the radiation of space. I panicked uh, and I got completely radiated from all that stuff. Just uh, up. And in my panic, I also ruined the ship's trajectory to the space station and all my attempts to contact Earth just kind of like fucked me over. I'm, I'm just in space floating around. So she's floating around in space, mm -hmm. radiation hitting her like crazy. Yep. So the radiation of uh, space prolonged my life and I developed a resistance to the freezing cold as I, because it's very cold up there. It's, it's very, very cold. cold. I heard. This is I also heard, just a resupply, so they really didn't care about heating up anything. Right. Because it's frozen. Right. Frozen food anyways. Yeah. They didn't figure that somebody yeah. was stuck in there. They just saw another resupply. Yeah. So I was sustained by the freeze-dried food for months before a band of space scavengers recovered my ship and dropped me off at the first habitable planet. Oh. And I'm bouncing between worlds and taking odd jobs and working as a chef, honing my skills. Ah. And so, and in, so over time, I branched out another arm. <laughs> just a little. You can extra. see that she's got an extra just arm like growing out of her elbow. Yeah, just like this. It's also webbed. Is it? Oh, oh, is it? oh, the, 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 oh yeah, like right between you have a membrane. It basically grew very slowly. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, super gross. You got, a, right. you got a webbed double arm. Yep. Okay, right. from the elbow. That's right weird. Here. Okay, uh, going on to Ash now. All right. Oh, and Jazz, why are you joining the uh, competition? Oh. Uh, I, since I've been uh, floating around by myself, I am the first human being that has contacted a lot of uh, these race. These oh, worlds. okay. And uh, because I have no way of getting home, and plus everybody has forgotten me because it's been so long, I decided to stay in space. And now I'm the first human challenger into the uranium. Oh, wow. She wants to be the first yeah. human winner. That's bold. Mm -hmm. Bold. Yep. I'm excited to see you. Can you really call yourself a human at this point, though? Whoa. I'm still technically human. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Meowboss said, so she is a cool person then? She's a cool chick. That depends on her stats. Yeah, cool is a stat. <laughs> How high is your cool stat? It is not what you think. <laughs> All right. That's fairly high. <laughs> we'll go to me. Blood Ow. All right, Blood Ash. Ow. Show All right. them how beautiful you look. Oh, <laughs> Ash, she's so cute. All right. Yes, Jazz drew these uh, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. My name is Thunnis. I am a fish person from the planet Bluefin. My backstory is, when I was a teenager, a vessel from the planet Nagiri visited our world and took many of us, my family included. I was left behind, and I have not heard from any of them since. I left my world to pursue my deepest desire to become the greatest chef in the galaxy. Uh, I was fortunate to apprentice under Pierre Fromage, master chef from Camembert. Uh, <laughs> Under his tutelage, my skills grew and outpaced the other students. Soon, I have had my soon I had my first restaurant where critics raved about my bold flavors and many praised my risks that I took mixing desserts with burritos. Um, <laughs> now, I take my skills to the arena where I will prove that my skills are the greatest in the galaxy and return glory to my once great bluefin planet. Okay. Okay. Good job, and, Ash. and so you're you're in this for glory, huh? I'm in this for glory and possibly revenge against the nigiri. Oh, oh, I see. It's a little bit of a double. Well, Let's goodness. see if there's any nigirians in this crowd. Exactly. So, uh, the campaign that we will be doing is actually in the Uranium Chef um, uh, booklet uh, because I figured since we're doing this is the first time any of us are doing it, it'd probably be better to have a structure. Um, so it is called Out of the Frying Pan. All right. And it takes us through essentially uh, one full episode of uh, this show, Uranium Chef. The first episode, to be precise. Um, so before we get into that, just to explain people a little bit how the system of uh, fate works. I'm just going to take your yep, sheet there, Jazzy. Uh, you don't need to see what it says. All you just need to see is that like, there's these boxes on here. It's too blown it's out. It's way too blown you. out. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so <laughs> there are the way that this works is you have what are called aspects, which are essentially aspects of your character. They're things that describe you. Um, and these, uh, for example, uh, Jazzy's high concept is she is a human mutant 
patissier. Mm -hmm. So uh, that can give her a couple of bonuses, right? She's a human mutant, so she has that extra arm and whatnot. That could come into play. Uh, she's a patissier. I hate that word. Uh, patisserie? Patissier. Whatever it is. Uh, she's a pastry chef. She's a pastry chef. So she's also going to be getting bonuses probably if she wants to make pastries, right? Uh, but also on the flip side, that could maybe play against her in some way. So in the game, uh, you will either uh, she can either take advantage of those abilities or others can try and take advantage of those abilities to work against her. Um, and so it's uh, basically those aspects are a large portion of how the game will operate is by taking advantage of those aspects in one way or another. Um, in addition... You have stats that they'll use for rolls and whatnot. These have to do, they correspond a little bit with like kind of your standard D&D &D stats. Um, they also have stats for the different flavors of food. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different than most other games. Like they have two sets of stats. They have two sets of character traits and stuff. Um, but basically what it just means is that there are th six types of flavors, bitter, spicy, cool, sour, savory, and sweet. And so when trying to create things, you're creating something of a certain flavor, uh, you can apply your bonuses there. Lastly, they have what are called stunts. And these stunts are more like abilities. These are specific abilities. So um, for Jazzy, for example, one of her stunts that she has that's always on all the time is her cold immunity. Uh, because uh, obviously from her exposure to radiation, uh, her having the cold uh, application to her skin and whatnot, it gave her this ability to where she's immune to cold. So anything that's cold that would normally have an effect on a player will not have an effect on Jazz. So it's kind of a bonus that she gets. So. Um, Everybody has some abilities that you know will come up at certain times as we're playing, and so they'll bring that up. Also, this game is very freeform, so as we're going along, um, people we may come up with a reason to introduce a new aspect about somebody. So let's say that as we get into um, the game and uh, we find out who the other participants are, maybe someone here knows one of those participants and they have a previous relationship of some sort. Maybe they're friends, maybe they're enemies. For example, if Ash were to run into a Nagiri, then maybe you guys might have some words. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be an Let aspect. Known, yes. That would be an aspect of a connection <laughs> that they have that uh, could be taken advantage of by either of them or by other players, right? Rick, knowing this relationship is there, could maybe take advantage of that at some point, kind of whisper something in someone's ear and start a fight between them, right? Oh, Try and give like himself Nagiris, a bonus. Huh? Well, yeah. Just, that's what happens. So, that's uh... That's kind of like the way that this will play out. Is it's everybody taking advantage of these things. Things can pop up as we go along, so you can basically gain abilities at any time. You can gain aspects at any time if it's relevant to the game. Um, beyond that, everything else we'll talk about as we get there. Oh, everybody has three... You have tokens. Fate tokens? Three fate tokens to start with. And these are kind of like free uses of an ability, free invoking of an aspect, right? If you're like, okay, I really want to do this one thing, I'm going to spend my fate point... Um, and then you kind of force it to work, right? Or if you succeeded on a roll and you want to make it even better, you could also spend a fate point to get an even higher roll on that kind of thing. Um, they start with three, and the only way to get more is either when we start a new session, so like the next time we would play, they would get back up to their default number of fate points, or uh, you can um, earn them basically by having bad stuff happen to you. So if someone, if say Rick were to do that thing that I said, where he takes advantage of this relationship that Ash has with the <laughs> Nigiri and causes something bad to happen, Ash would get a free fate point when that happened. So he would take the minus, but he would also get an extra fate point that he could spend later. So it's a nice kind of balancing mechanic that it has. So when bad stuff happens to you, you kind of get more little tools to help you through, um, the rest of it. Uh, beyond that, it's a competition, right? It's a cooking competition. So we're going to go through multiple different stages. Sometimes we'll be in like the reality show uh, house where they're all like meeting and greeting and whatnot, and maybe sabotaging one another before the show starts or maybe uh, <laughs> working together. Or they'll be in the kitchen, and that's where like the real stuff's going down. That's where the cooking is happening. That's where judging happens. And it's all about creating goods that uh, the judges want to eat, right? Very much like Battle Chef Brigade. <laughs> okay. All that said... I really wish we had another camera that pointed at the board. That's I right. made it's some. Okay. I made some awesome artwork. <laughs> it's, it's Jazzy okay. did draw it's okay. uh, in in this. We do have a. I have a whiteboard down here that I've drawn <laughs> the uh, area on. You can kind of see it there a little bit. Not really. Sort of see. So but apparently this is a danger zone. <laughs> There's a danger zone and in I the put kitchen. Fire and fire sharks. Fire sharks, which they're not in the book, but I might have to have fire sharks now. Well, fire I mean, sharks. Uh, oh, don't worry. I can I make. I can make fire, fire sharks. Shark seem to Are they sharks made of fire, or just sharks that swim in fire, or both? Both. All right. Yeah. Little column A, little column B. Yeah. I mean, how else are they going to survive down there? There's sharks made of fire that swim in fire. Yeah. 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 It's like how the Evangelates can go in lava. 
That's a reference. Okay. Um, the, the, so the eight of us were not made of fire, though. No, but I can <laughs> we're made it. of love. <laughs> um, so you guys ready to get started? Let's yeah, go. let's go. All right. All so right. scene one got game. Got okay? game. Rick. I'm reading this straight out of the book. Got game. You got game. I got game. Oh. All right. <clears throat> so. You each feel groggy as you come out of hypersleep. Oh. Even frequent intergalactic travels travelers find this transition rough. The overhead speakers echo the strange clicking of an alien tongue. Seconds later, the Zegalite brand Universal Translator stapled to the base of your skull does its work, deciphering the clicks into familiar words. Out of the porthole window, you can see your craft breaking through the lavender clouds. Below you is a bustling city stretching across the entire planet. Welcome to Culinary 5. Oh. Culinary Spell with a K. Five. Spell with a K, yes. As you walk through the spaceport, you are greeted by a hovering Cambot bearing the Mongogo broadcasting logo. The mechanical voice of the Cambot greets you cheerily by name. Welcome, contestant, to Culinary 5. Please tell us, why do you have what it takes to beat the undefeated Uranium Chef? Does anyone have opening remarks to make? You there, contestant. Why do you have what it takes to beat the Uranium Chef? Because I grew up in the slums of Druglia, and I know what it takes to transform scraps into something delicious. Into something that will give you, uh... <laughs> I know how to create mouth art, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Maybe you've heard of it, <laughs> mouth art. Will you roll real quick? Okay. <clears throat> Wow, this contestant sounds very impressive. Holly, we have a contestant who has mouth art that will be very good on the show. I think we should all be very excited about yes. this one. Uh. How about you, contestant? What gives you the skills to beat the Uranium Chef? I actually come from a very, un uh, very small, unknown planet, and I think my exotic dishes might be... Give me the extra boost to win. Human food exotic price. I know. I know. Yeah. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you actually a contestant on this show? I am, yes. I feel like I've already forgotten that this person exists. <laughs> <laughs> but I have my papers right here. Contestant. <laughs> Got my papers right here, you dumb bot. Do you hear something? I don't hear anything, Holly. <laughs> Contestant, what gives you the skills to defeat the Uranium Chef? For me, it's my bold and risky style that allows me to mix flavors that the judges have not ever experienced before. They're sick of the foods that other contestants have used. With me, they're getting something new. Okay, okay. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wow, it sounds like he's really got what it takes. We're really looking forward to what this chef can produce, aren't we? Everyone's favorite contestant is... Contestant. <laughs> <laughs> I love... Okay, can we stop? Jan Banam says, I mean, Earth already forgot about <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Jan Banam. Uh, just Dang. like, just knowing it right there. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> From behind you, uh, the other contestants pour in uh, to the spaceport. The first of which that you see is a tall man in... Hold on, let me try to scroll to the picture of him. Um, also, mods, you guys are doing God's work. Thank you so much. Uh, what this? <laughs> so, uh, first there is a, a tall man with kind of long black hair in a ponytail, Victorian clothing. Oh, oh. Uh, Red eyes, pale skin, fangs. Vampire. Ah. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> but he is a vampire. Uh, <laughs> Just quick to judgment, though. And, <laughs> and so he kind of pushes his way forward. Okay. Um, and he says, My name is Marcone, and I am the greatest sommelier in all of the galaxy. My pairings with these foods will take these judges on an adventure that they'll never have been on before. The Uranium Chef may be able to cook, but I can elevate. Ooh. Hmm. Very scary stuff. It's, it's very scary. Next, behind him, <laughs> comes in a chipper chipmunk lady. Ah. Ooh. Chef Coco Ramsey. She comes in, she goes, 
Why, hello there, darling. Well, my name's Coco Ramsey, and I just want to say I love making me pastries. All kinds of pastries. Sweet, savory, any kind you've ever seen. And I do think that that uranium chef's going to love what I have. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm just here to have fun. Great to meet all y'all. Wait, nice to see you. So the uranium chef's going to love what you have and not, not the judges? Well, everybody's going to love what I have, all but right. mostly I want to impress that uranium chef because they're oh, so talented. Got it. I don't really care about them judges that Gosh, much. so humble. Yeah. And also a pastry chef. Uh, what was your name? <laughs> <laughs> silence. Met with silence. <laughs> Finally, uh, coming in from behind Coco Ramsey. A robot with eight arms extending out Ooh. of it, right? On each arm, a different utensil, okay? Knives, sporks, scissors, <laughs> some kind of mallet. <clears throat> My name is Messbot7337, designation 64298. I am the greatest chef ever built by anyone ever. I'm going to be greater than the uranium chef because the uranium chef only has two arms. I've got eight. But do you have but, taste buds? But each of these is one hand up, so it's like eight little... Hey, little guess who else has eight arms? Woo! <laughs> You're not such a big deal. Sir, if you don't get out of my face, I might chop off one of your arms. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Put him so, on my back. <laughs> you have now met the other contestants. And so, uh, you continue through the spaceport, uh, and in a moment, you are greeted by one of... Someone that you would be familiar with being fans of the show, as you've watched oh. for years, all of you. Um, <clears throat> so, after the opening remarks, the hover bus is waiting at the spaceport to take you to your apartments. Uh, Holly Go Lightwave, the show's holographic director and host, is there to greet you. So, a little hologram. <gasps> Holly! Oh! <laughs> she already knows each of you by name. Oh. <gasps> ah, show, that, show that smile. Show that beautiful smile. Zorba Borb. Thanos, Coco, <laughs> Messbot. Wendy! Wendy. Sandy? Nice to meet you. My name's Wendy. I'm a hologram. Can't shake hands. <laughs> anyway, welcome, new contestants. I'm Holly Go Lightwave, your official talent coordinator. I'm also Uranium Chef's co host, director, editor, publicist, costumer, and cast liaison. Wow. Being a holographic life form capable of inhabiting several places at once has its advantages. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed your journey here, courtesy of Zegolite Interspace Travel. Zegolite travels in space, no one can hear you scream. For joy! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be spending the next few months on the planet Culinary 5 in our comfortably furnished apartments. We call them the sweets. Get it? Like food. However, we have a <laughs> lot of contestants this year. So there will be two or three contestants to a room. We hope you and your roommate uh, will get along with only a moderate amount of entertaining drama. And we assure you, while all of the bedrooms in the shared living room are monitored by hidden cameras and microphones, there are no recording devices oh, yeah. in the washrooms, giving you all the privacy that you need. In an hour, we'll be taking you to the studio for shooting. In the meantime, explore the suites, find your room, and freshen up from your trip. Okay? Okay! Okay! So, okay. You guys okay. now find yourself in the suites. Uh, you guys have an hour before you're going to be leaving, so you have some time to mingle. You can get yourself situated in your room. Uh, you might want to go pick a bed before your roommate picks one before you do. Uh, you can relax in the living room or the kitchen, kind of practice, whatever it is that you want to do. Your time is your own, but you have time to spend before we move on to the studio. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. I would like to pick a room. Okay. Do I need to roll for that? No. Just say, I would like to go pick a room. I would like to go pick a room. Okay. So... Rick, we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna treat this kind of like a turn kind of situation where we're gonna have everybody like do their things. So, uh, Rick, you walk down the hallway uh -huh. and you see uh, on the wall mm -hmm. there is your room. It has your name on it and has another name uh -huh. on it. Okay, Messbot seven three three seven. There are too many arms in this room. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> you walk in and Messbot has already sped down the hallway ahead of you. All right, he you guys are neck and neck heading to this door. He goes right in and immediately goes for the full size bed. Okay, there's a he full size bed. It. He's a robot. And there is a cot in the corner. I lost right? a dice. What do you do? Uh, I uh, use my camouflage ability. Mm. Okay. Okay. To sneak past him and lie on the bed. 
<laughs> I'm on the full size bed, but I'm camouflaged. Okay, so you want to you want to sneak ag- against Messbot. Yes. So that you can get to that bed first. Exactly. That's I'm gonna sneak goal. around if he doesn't see me coming. Perfect. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your camouflage ability. Yes. Right. So that's gonna give you a bonus plus two to a sneak roll. Great. Okay. So do a sneak roll. All right. And I will roll against that as. Come on, sneak roll. Okay, that's not the best sneak roll. What'd you get? Let's see, you got a one, a one, a one, a one, and a zero. So three. I got three. Plus your two. Plus my two. That's five. Plus, not, not too bad. What's your sneak? Uh oh. Uh one. So what'd you get total? Five, six, seven, eight. An eight. Okay. So not a bad sneak wait, roll. Not you a bad. Such a low sneak for someone that can camouflage. Well, no, well that's bonus? because I have my camouflage ability. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. So, okay, so what we're looking at here, let's see. What was that sound? Yeah, that's so weird. Something thing. messed up on the computer? Mm. Um, just looking at his abilities. I wonder if that's like Gmail or something. Okay. Uh. So, um, what we have here is a tie. Oh, okay. What? But a tie goes to the aggressor yes! situation. Yes. Nice. So, you succeed at getting to the bed before Messbot does. Okay. Right? Yes. So you've invoked your camouflage. Yes. So you call it invoking. Uh-huh. You invoked your camouflage yep. on the bed. You uh, hid yourself yep. from Messbot. Yep. And now Messbot, continuing to speed towards that bed, yep. leaps into the air to yep. jump onto the bed that you are currently on. Yep. And then I uncamouflage myself and I go, surprise, sucker! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to say that you kind of caught him off guard a little bit there. So he's going to get a negative there. Yeah. But uh, I want you to roll a flashy roll. Ooh, okay. I am flashy. Oh. Okay. That is what I'm known for. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All right. That's a, that's that's a two, a, two a one, and a one. So that's a four. Three, a four, plus three flashy. That's so seven. seven. Okay. I'm confused by these dice. Yeah. So explain the dice numbers one more time for okay. us. Okay. Uh, ones and twos are zeros. Okay. Threes and fours are ones. Fives and sixes. Fives are and sixes are twos. Got it. Okay. Because it's only supposed to be, it's it's supposed to be more like um, the uh, small world dice where you have uh, like two blank spaces, two spaces with ones. Right. I'm writing this down for myself. Yeah, you got no it. Worries. Well, and we'll we'll go through it every time we need to. All right. So. Oh, I totally right. won. So, um, Messbot uh, freaks out. All right, and doesn't even like land on you. Right. It looked like he was gonna land right on you. Uh huh. But. Uh, actually launches himself. Thrusters erupt. Nice. From body to, <laughs> like from where his right, nipples are? Yes. Uh, to launch it backwards. <laughs> uh, and he's kind of taken aback. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I thought that was my bad. Uh, being that I am from the military, I'm totally okay with that cot over there. My yeah, apologies. That's what uh, I thought. Jeez, that was, that was really yeah, Would the thrusters to me not singe the octopus man? Just like No, these thrusters in particular, they utilize a technology that is non- uh, Singy. Singy. Yeah. It. <laughs> it has a non singing technology. <laughs> right. Got it. They're miniature thrusters. Messbot is lighter than you might think. What happened to the screen up there? Ash did things. All right. Ash did things. So, uh, Look at how cute well I am. done. You're I'm so adorable. Rick, you got the bed that you want. I got the okay. big bed, but I still have to share a room with this so, jerk. So, um, what we're going to say that that interaction gave oh, to you that you're going to get to take advantage of in the next. Um, so, um, the bonus of that then is going to give you A, now. There's there's a relational dynamic that you have with Messbot. Yeah, right? I'm the you've boss. Kind of, you've sort of asserted dominance mm-hmm. in a way, um, so you may be able to utilize that to take advantage nice. of. So maybe write a little note down there somewhere in your aspects that talks about your relationship with Messbot. Um, additionally, um, you're gonna get a well rested bonus. Ooh, nice. Okay? You're gonna be relaxed. So that's gonna give you. Uh, well, I'll I'll talk about what the specifics of that bonus are when we actually get to the. Um, uh, Feeling pretty good. The Feeling next pretty challenge. good. All right. So I'm just writing this down for myself. But well done. You Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. So that was Rick's turn. Now, All right. who else is with us? Is it just the contestants? Just the contestants. So there's Macron, the uh, vampire sommelier, mm-hmm. and uh, Coco Ramsey, the squirrel lady pastry chef. Mm-hmm. Is there okay. any way I could look and see what people are doing right now? Or you want to like observe? And I want to observe. I, I Yeah, I kind of want to observe. Okay, so then I'm gonna say, so you you kind of you don't want to be noticed at the moment. I you want, want to eavesdrop. Notice. You want to eavesdrop. Okay, so um, who in particular do you want to eavesdrop on? The patissier, uh Ramsey Coco. Coco Ramsey. Okay, yeah. so um, let me do, 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 do. So Jazzy already has. See, I, I ha- I, you know, people are already forgetting me. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling. 
I could probably sit yeah. and just like right next to her and listen to everything she's doing. She's not going to remember. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So then let's, let's say you're first going to roll a sneak roll. Okay? okay. And I believe you have a bonus. I do. That you can use, um, which you can explain to the audience if you would like to. All right. Uh, I have a plus three sneak. It's a, uh, not because I train for it, is because apparently people just keep forgetting about me. So I She's forgettable. seem to She's forgettable. go What's through her name crowds again? without being noticed very well. Sandy? Wendy. Sandy. Mandy. Wendy. Scuba. That's the one. That's the yeah, one. it's Scuba. It's Scuba. <laughs> I knew it was so, five letters. Yeah. Okay, so you rolled yeah, a two and a one. Mm -hmm. You have your already, your sneak plus skill three. is plus three. So that's six. Mm -hmm. And did you also have an ability that you use, or you don't? No. Okay, so you just have a plus three. Gotcha. So plus six total. So Coco, I'm gonna I'm running this against Coco, but she doesn't get a bonus for it um, because she doesn't know that you're coming at her. So that's a two, a two, and a one. So that's a five. So you win. Yay! Um, so she doesn't notice you um, eavesdropping. So uh, you want to? I'm assuming you're trying to learn something about her. I want to learn, like I want to learn about her, but I also want to know, like, what type of recipe she's she's familiar with. Like, okay. maybe like. If she's going through like a battle plan, I kind of want to hear what she's thinking about. Okay, so um, Coco and Macron are having a conversation, and mm -hmm. you you've done your successful sneak, so you're kind of like able to like lean in there. I'm and just, they don't I don't even notice. I don't even lean in. Yeah. I just kind of walk up like I'm trying to talk to them. <laughs> Yes. So, Hi, Jazz, Wendy. Jazzy walks up to try and join the conversation, and they just don't even know. <laughs> like, not even at all. Uh, so, but like, the thing is, is what's crazy is that they're like open to you, like you do yeah. in like a. They, they kind of like, acknowledge me, yeah. but then they go back to the like, conversation. Like you walked up, and then yeah, as soon as like yeah. they open themselves, it's just like they completely forgot you were there, mm. right? So they're they're kind of in an argument about different types of foods and whatnot, but like they're kind of keeping like hush hush under their breath and whatnot. Um, and every now and then, Coco kind of like will turn a little bit and just kind of like say something like a little bit under her breath, yeah, because she's like so frustrated with Macron because he's just so um, intense and aggressive. But Coco, are uh, you also a pastry chef? So am I. Yes, I, I I'm just I'm so, she's like I'm so tired of Macron over here. He's insulting what I do for a living. And she's saying this like kind of to herself, but you're there, mm -hmm. right? Um, really, you're prompting all of this, but again, yeah. you're invisible to most You're people. like her subconscious, yeah. Yeah. but real life. Um, so you're going to get a bonus. Basically, what's, what's going to happen is um, you're going to learn something about her <gasps> um, that you can maybe take advantage of in the future, right? Um, <clears throat> so... I'm going to write this on a piece of paper for Jazz, because this information that Jazzy gets that these two don't get. So I'm going to do this from time to time, where um, they will, if you try and get information about somebody, then that's something that only you get access to, uh, unless you want to share it with other people. Should, so, should the audience know this? Uh, Jazzy can reveal it when it becomes relevant. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. this is something that you will all find out at some point as well. Um, so I'm going to let you know that... Okay, she... You guys love that I embraced it? It's actually written <laughs> down. I yeah, wrote it down here. It's on her character It says forgettable. Yeah. Uh, so, give me a second to uh, write this down. Talk amongst <gasps> yourselves. So, uh, what do you think about this place? It's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... It's... it's Seems pretty big, except for, like, the cot situation seems weird, but... Oh, did you get did a you cot? cot? I don't know. I mean, it is weird that they put one full-size bed and one cot in every room, right? Yeah. It's like they wanted to try to create some power dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like my situation's working out pretty well, though. It's like we're on some sort of reality show. I don't really. Care. Well, they told us we're on a reality show. Did they? Are you? Do you have deficiencies? In I, yet, I mean, I know that you're a fish. But yeah. Do you have a fish-sized brain? I have deficiencies. Oh jeez. Okay. Did you guys um, bring your own tools? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I have enough for all eight hands. Oh my goodness. There you go, Jazz. All right, so Jazz now has a little bit of information on Coco Ramsey that she can use in whatever way she sees fit. Um, so I believe I told you about one aspect, one stunt, and one stat you now know about. Okay? Whoa. So if that comes up during the uh, competition, you can maybe try and take advantage of one she of She knows those. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. She reveals a lot, Coco Ramsey. Yeah. Also, Jazzy Coco Coco Ramsey, yeah. big Just talker. So yeah. big giving with uh, that information. The other thing you find out in this conversation is that Coco is, in fact, your roommate. So oh. you two are sharing a room. Okay? Oh. Coco, she doesn't necessarily realize Coco, it. Is it okay if I have the big bed? 
Excuse me? Coco, may I have the big bed, please? Oh, um, I thought there was only one bed in this room. No, there's two. I thought it was my room. No, it's my room. On the, but on the door, it says Coco. Yeah, it also says Wendy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm small. I don't need a lot. So no, I, can, I, I, I can figured. Those yeah. Crocs look really cute, though. That, well, thank you. That's yeah. so nice of you. My goodness. You're just so sweet. How did you get? How did you manage to get Crocs out in space? Oh, well, you know. Um, I thought that was only a, a human thing. Well, they're know. not actually called Crocs. They're called Gators. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. They're made on uh, Splorglorbian 7. Gotcha. But. I haven't been there. I'll have to go get them. But. One thing you need to know. Your big bed is not the super comfy bed. Oh. It's just a bed. Yes. So you don't get but a bonus from that bed. It's, bigger. it's just a big bed. Yeah. Got it. But you don't get a negative from that bed. Just a bed. It's just a bed. Just a bed. Bed Look, for Wendy. I just wanted someone <laughs> to really just sprawl out. Works. Yeah. Okay. So, Jazzy did her interaction with Coco. Uh, I think you're set. Um, so, Ash. Me. What would you like to do? I'd like to play video games in the living room. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ash wants to play video games in the living room. So... <laughs> Let me yell at Vampire Dude. Yo, Vampire Dude, you want to join him? My games? name is Macron. <laughs> yeah, but I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. Macaroni, do you want to play video games with me in the living room? <sighs> You're my roommate for this entire We situation. could play Smash Brothers! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. Listen, we're roommates. Play some Smash Brothers with me. What, why would I even play this game with you? What are the stakes? What is what will I gain out of this? I there's no stakes, New York trip, nothing involved in this. No, it's just a <laughs> video game. I need to pair something very strong with this conversation. Oh, there's some beer in the fridge. Ugh. Beer? Yeah. How could you drink such a disgusting, awful, vile concoction? I mean, wine. Wine is what one must drink. Tequila? <laughs> That's like agave wine. Macron wanders off to the kitchen, reaches into the uh, fridge, which is actually a, a portal that he sort of reaches into, ah, okay. okay, and pulls out a giant bottle of wine. Like, <gasps> real big. Ooh, okay. I have a feeling Ash did this on purpose. He's getting this guy drunk Fine, before battle. roommate. If we must play this game of yours, then I'm going to enjoy myself. Deal. Can I enjoy but. myself, too, with some of your wine? <laughs> <laughs> the stakes! Oh, who gets the big bed? All right. Ooh. Winner gets the big bed and the little bed. Whoa. The little bed goes on the big bed. <laughs> you get all the beds. All right. The loser sleeps in the closet. In the closet. All right. I'm cool with that. All right. Then let us play this game of Smash you speak of. Game of Smash. How does one play this? Well, I pick Pac-Man. That's the only rule. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So This is real low stakes. By the way, speaking of stakes, where's New York, Ash? <laughs> well, New York's a strip stake. <laughs> where's New York, Ash? Have you been to New York? Yeah. <laughs> New York Ash. I've been trained by Master Chef. <laughs> Nobody knows where Earth is except for Jasmine. I thought that people of Earth didn't remember Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. New York is a different planet. Oh, right. Yes. It's yeah. N-O-O-Y-O-O-R-X. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, the New yeah. York strip. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> So, I love that line uh, of question. <laughs> you sit down in front of... Oh, <laughs> why didn't he call it Splash Bros? That's what we <laughs> Splash Bros. We're playing Splash uh, Bros. Um, so, uh, you sit down to play the game. Okay? Yeah. You load up your characters. You pick. Pac-Man. Uh, Macron, uh, obviously, uh, he picks uh, Marth. Of course. Yeah. One who looks Edgelord. the most vampirish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and so... Uh, now you want to roll for who's going to succeed, right? What, what am I going with? Smart. So we're going to smart. roll for, we'll say, well, how, how would you like to play the round? You can pick, all right? Which of all these right. stats do you think will work the best? I'll play it clever then. You're going to play a clever ah. round. All right. So how do you play it clever? 
Mm. What is it that you do in this round of Smash that's so clever? Uh, I lead him on to believe that I am not very good at this game at all. Mm. And then I just smash the controller as hard as I can in a clever way. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to lure him into some kind of a trap. Okay, and then you're gonna you're gonna spring that trap on him. That's why they call in, it Smash in, Brothers. All right. exactly. Okay, okay. Obviously, we play a lot of Obviously Smash Brothers. Obviously, in a clever way. Right. Obviously, in a clever way. Okay. Oh, all right. My Ooh. ash. Okay. So that's a Only, four for him. You got uh, uh it a four, six, a five. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Got a five. five. Got a five. All right. And what's your bonus? Plus so, three, the clever. Okay, so the total is then eight that eight. you got. You killed him. Okay, and he rolled a six. So you do what we would call um, you in the style. Okay? All right. So you not only get to take advantage of the situation, um, but you can actually take advantage of another situation mm. uh, in the future. Okay? Oh. So uh, you obviously you want to use this to win this game is what you're, you're doing, yeah. right? So you lure in Marth, right? You you uh, Maybe you take a bunch of like dumb damage as you're going along. Um, you kind of like fall off a cliff every now and then and make it look like you're kind of really terrible at this game, right? So yeah. then he gets cocky, okay? He comes at you and like, now I will finally defeat you and the super bed will be mine! But the thing is, this whole time that you've been dragging him along, He's been getting real drunk off that wine, <laughs> like real drunk. Yeah, because you're just so difficult for him to talk to that he <laughs> overcompensates. So if one could slur a controller, <laughs> that's what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. So he kind of wanders up like, "No, you're going down." <laughs> and so he swings at you. Mm -hmm. You do just the simple little whoop, dodge roll right past him. He goes sailing off the edge. And you win the final battle. Yes. Well played, Thanos. Thank you, Macaroni. It was well done. It was well done. There is something about you that I absolutely despise. And oh. yet, I respect you. <laughs> We're roomies, buddy. I respect you too. And to be perfectly honest, I wanted to sleep in the closet anyways. I am a vampire. I don't know if you know this. <gasps> it's dark in there. Which is quite nice. Interesting. All right. Super bed for me. Super bed for you. <laughs> Double or nothing? Double wine? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he goes and gets another bottle of wine from the <laughs> teleporter fridge. So, uh, so you guys, that's that was your first round. Now, here's the thing. Yes. You guys only had a one hour break, right? This wasn't nighttime. Okay, this wasn't sleepy time. Okay. Macron's drunk now. <laughs> yes, he is. So that is what you have done. You have actually given him a negative <laughs> going into the challenge because he is drunk. Uh, so Good job, buddy. <laughs> Sweet. So y'all will all take advantage of that if you if you want to. You can. Okay, so uh, that is your free hour. Now we're going to move on nice. to the studio. I can't tell if Ash is just stupid or if he's really <laughs> clever. Let's look at take the picture. Uh, let's look at this picture clever. again. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> the shuttle arrives once again uh -huh. uh, to pick you guys up and take you to the studio. Um, so Holly appears again. Hi! And you guys are you're always so excited. Every time so Holly excited. pops up, you guys are so excited. Hi! <laughs> the best. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so every morning you will be shuttled to Mongogo Broadcasting Studios. Yes. You'll be spending most of your time in the state-of-the-art culinary studio, oh, Kitchen guys. Arena. But don't be surprised if we visit a few other locations. Okay. You might be whisked to one of Culinary Five's world-class restaurants for inspiration, oh. or maybe make a guest appearance on another Mongogo game show. Wow. <gasps> You arrive at the studios, and you're given ID bracelets by security. Cool. Okay? cool. You are escorted past other studios. Yours, your name is spelled wrong. Uh, <sighs> I want to fix you're, that. you're escorted past other studios, including Chef Vic's News Cooking Show and the radical game show Quantum Shock. Finally, you arrive at Kitchen Arena. Oh. Even though you can see the hanging lights, the LED camera cables, and everything's all around, right? You can see everything behind the scenes that you don't normally see when you're watching it on TV. It's still really impressive, right? Mm -hmm. The place has a weight to it. You've seen the show. You've been watching it for seasons. 
okay? And you you have just been wanting to be there your whole life, and now you're there, okay? Except for you, because you probably just found out about it like a couple of years ago. Um, I've been watching this forever. Have you? How old do you think I am? Who are you again? How old can humans be? Six. Uh, You're six. No. D? Older than that. Sixty. <sighs> this is your. I've been around twin. for a long. I'm two hundred years old. I've been around for forever. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. I'm so happy to be here. Did you see the actual I, uh, fire ring? Huh? Did you see the fire ring? What? The fire That's ring. That's great. So, prepping the studio can take a bit of time, so contestants may be asked to wait in the green room uh, before and between cook-offs. While you're there, kick back and maybe enjoy a refreshing Sloopnar soda. Sloopnar, yeah. a taste you won't forget. <laughs> Is that the right one? No. She does that. She kind of like stares um, like towards camera for a little bit, just smiles. Uh, Holly? Uh, she's, she's Hello! <laughs> You'll soon have the honor of meeting chairwoman Malu Miris, universally famous gourmand and octogentillionaire. She's the host of Uranium Chef, but also the producer and creator. So make sure you show her proper respect or she may have you executed. The chairwoman is very well connected and it's because of her that we are able to pull in such world-class chefs to be our guest judges every contest. Hmm. Every contest. Don't mess it up. What was her name? Oh, God. Uh, chairwoman Malu Miris. Malu Miris. Malu. Okay. So, uh, right now, before the show starts, right, you have a little bit of time. If you wanted to, you could wander around the arena. You can uh, look around in the green room, like uh, they said. Uh, inside the green room, um, there is furniture. There are a couple of locked doors and whatnot to other parts of the studio that you're not allowed to get into. Um, there's a couple of other people who work for the <coughs> studio around. You can see a couple producers, a couple camera people, behind the scenes people. The judges haven't arrived yet. They mm -hmm. usually arrive uh, midway through the episode, so you don't expect them to be here now. Um, the chairwoman's not here yet, and uh, neither is the host, Dr. Durian. Um, <clears throat> so. Dr. Durian. Yeah, like uh, fruit. Is there anything that y'all would like to do while here? <laughs> in the green room or around the studio before it begins. I'm really curious about these locked doors. You're curious about the locked doors, okay? Is Holly still with us in the green? Uh, Holly is everywhere. Okay. Um, Holly, question? Yes? The green room's not green. Is that a is that a problem? I don't know if you're joking or not. Wait, wait. You just, <laughs> just switch to the other scene. Okay. Uh, so, I, I'm curious if I can get any uh, intel on the uh, behind the scenes. You know, like maybe mm -hmm. maybe meet some people who work on the show. So you want to go like introduce yourself to somebody or something? Insider information. Okay. You know? So, maybe first thing you would like to do is you would like to roll maybe... Um, so like a clever roll, okay? Or no, a careful roll. A careful, a careful roll. roll. And um, basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to perceive the area around you. You're yeah. trying to see who's around, what's around. Basically, like I, I want to find a producer and try to get some insider knowledge. All right. So specifically, you're looking for one of the top producers. Yeah. People. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. I okay. Like... I got two, three, four, five. You fail. Really? Yeah. Oh, so man. you look around and you do wait, see wait, 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 wait. Two, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry. So you got a seven. Yeah. Okay. You still fail. Oh, but probably really high. Uh, so you don't um, learn anything specific, right? You look around. You can see that there are a lot of people around, but they all do seem to be dressed kind of the same. You can't tell really who's in charge and who's not, right? Okay. You'll see a guy near a camera and you might go like, oh, that's a cameraman. And then you'll see another guy come in and take his place, right? So you're not quite sure who does what. So while you're looking around trying to get some information on this, you just don't quite learn anything new, sadly. Cool. Can Desi? I go into my kitchen area and just familiarize myself with everything and where they're at? Sure, you can go inspect your kitchen area. Yeah, yeah there's no... Um, you're not gonna be able to roll or anything to like get any advantages or anything like that. But if you just want to learn about it, we can talk about it. Well, I was hoping that maybe if I familiarize myself with the things and where mm -hmm. they're at, I might be a little be a little faster. Okay, so like what then? All right, so you you walk up to your the kitchen station. Yeah. Now, they're not 
they don't have like names on them or anything like that right now. You don't know necessarily which station is going to be yours because it does rotate and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you can go up to a kitchen station. They are oh, identical, yeah. so oh, you should be able okay. to learn basically uh, what's going on there. Oh, Shigami! Uh, Shigami! My last donation of stuff Let's keep this rolling, folks. Thank, Thank you, Shigami. Shigami. Um, okay, so I, I guess I turn. I'm going to wander around the kitchens, looking uh -huh. around. I also want to like look in the pit and see what's inside of it and all that other crap. Okay, so how about you also roll a um, careful roll? And what is it you're specifically trying to figure out? You're just trying to see. I, I want to like familiarize with my kitchens, and mm -hmm. I also want to know what's inside this dangerous pit. Besides okay, fire sharks. So, <laughs> I guess fire sharks. All right. Let's see. One, two, three four plus two six uh okay so you look into the pit area mm -hmm. um and you notice that there are a couple of like what look like little like um platform maybe like there's like gaps in the floor like it's not a fully solid floor it's not like concrete it's like metal sheets that they look like maybe they could be removed mm -hmm. moved around there's a couple with holes in them, tiny little holes. There's a couple of different shaped ones, maybe circular shaped ones and whatnot, but nothing that really tells you anything about what those could potentially be. You just notice that there are these plates and platforms and things there, hmm. okay? Um, as far as your getting familiar with the kitchen area, uh, let's roll for that one as well. Oh, okay. Again, we'll say careful because you're just observing. One, two. These are zeros. Two, four. Four? Uh, yeah, once again, you know, you look at it, it looks like a pretty standard kitchen. It's got everything that you would normally see in a kitchen. Um, the uh, As you're familiar with watching the show, you know, it has a time dilator so that anything that would normally take time mm -hmm. um, can oh, be sped yeah. up to happen essentially instantly. Uh, oh, from Sooner Kate for the last Aww. day of Stuntmas and to get rid of that one cent, <laughs> my first Stuntmas is in the books and it was pretty you amazing. Are... You're the real hero of Sooner Kate. Thank you. <laughs> Can't are. wait for many more to come. Thank you so much, Sooner Kate. Um, you guys are so sweet. So, yeah. So, basically, you it's got everything that you need, okay. but there's nothing special that you learn about it. Um, <clears throat> Just from a mechanical standpoint, just to explain what happened there, um, you uh, you failed both rolls. Ah. So that's why you didn't get any like additional information. Gotcha. What you saw was basically what anybody would see if okay. you looked at those areas. Um, okay. So, Ash, is there anything that you want to do um, other than question I, why a green I room is called green? I thought I uh, <laughs> smelled something super good behind one of those locked doors. I'd like to try to get into one of those locked doors. <laughs> okay. So through the green room? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so Ash uh, was in the green room. You, <laughs> how did you, how did you sense it? Why don't you tell people how you sense things? Uh, so it was, it was with my, my catfish, uh, whiskers and whatnot. You know, I, I, I thought I, I, something like tingled up and I was mm. like, Ooh, so, something seems enticing behind it's that like a door dog, You know, when the yeah. ears perk up his, his, exactly. <laughs> See his little whiskers. She's kind of like, Whoa. exactly. <laughs> All right. So you, you want to try and break into a room? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, no closed doors in my house. So how are you? How are you going to do that? Uh, so let's see here. I've got all of my my chef's tools on me. I've got like little tiny paring knives and even smaller like little uh, chopsticks and stuff okay. on me that I figure I can try to uh, finagle the lock with. So you want to pick a lock? Yep. All right. Yeah. Just you're just walking up to a lock and just gonna start picking it in broad daylight. Everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So let's go for a. Do you want to, how do you, which of your stats do you want to use? Anyways? Probably sneak. So sneak. So you want to do this in a sneaky fashion. I do. Okay. So you want But wanna... you're in broad daylight. All right. Absolutely. So maybe you kind of like, <laughs> you kind of like saunter up to it and you're like, kind of like reaching behind your back with the stuff. You're yeah. Like, hey, let's go. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. Roll your roll. <laughs> Uh, oh, that is not good, Ash. I've got a two plus my two sneak. Four. <laughs> it's got four. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, as you're jamming little chopsticks, <laughs> um, they immediately get sucked into the lock, and you hear like kind of a grinding noise, uh, and then sawdust uh, just gets spit back uh, all over the back of you. I need those. Pets <laughs> uh, are back, Ag. Oh, uh, Ag, where? Ag, where? Thank, thank you. Oh, you're a monster, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not only do you now have a pile of sawdust on your hands, and you no longer have chopsticks, but also, <laughs> Holly pops up, 
please refrain from trying to break into anywhere inside the arena, or you will be executed. Holly, can you get me new chopsticks? There are plenty of tools at your workstation that will be provided for you when you cook. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> She's the best. She's Ugh. like Janet from Good Place. But also, a, uh, in front of her, you see a little like image come up, and it's got your face on it, right? And there's a couple of boxes underneath it, and one of them goes red. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. And then it goes away, and she's like, okay. And then she's gone. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, Jazz. You should yes. probably write down that person's name as well. Yes. Ah, yes. AJ, AJ Weary. AJ Weary. Oh, yes. Put it right down. Okay. Um, I feel like we actually already have a plan. Oh, let's for see. AJ. Let's make sure. So, before we begin the first cook off, because that's what is about to happen. I will describe the kitchen arena to people out there. Um, here, let's pull the little characters off of here. We can actually kind of like lift it up and show off Jazzy's art. Yes. <laughs> um, here, let's see. Let's do it on. Let's do it on this. I mean, camera. I only added two. Okay. It's so only added two. Put that up there. All right. So as you can see, uh, it's a circle with six spaces around it. Those are the areas in which people will be competing. In the center, there is the altar, all right? That's where they're gonna be getting their secret ingredients. That's where they're gonna get all ingredients from. And all around that, you can see Jazzy's fire sharks. Um, <laughs> that is the danger zone. Hazards can happen in that area. So when you're going to get your ingredients, stuff might happen because this is a game show. They do want some ratings and they know that things like fire sharks can certainly uh, spike the ratings. So. Uh, other than that, there's, uh, you see like a long bar at the top. That bar is where the judges will sit. And then at the other opposite end is a small circle. And that is the altar on which uh, Dr. Durian, the host of the show, stands uh, ah. as he uh, observes and uh, hosts. So uh, that's it. Cool. Sounds that's good. the arena. Okay. So that's Kitchen Arena. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so. Uh, Holly, uh, as you guys, you know, you've all done your wandering around the studio, gotten yourself familiar. Uh, each of you, wherever you're standing, nearby, there'll be a pedestal or something like that where like, brruh, brruh, and Holly pops up. All right, contestants, let's all meet around the altar so that we can finally meet the chairwoman! Yay! So, you all head towards the center of the arena, and... I, I, I can't stand, next stand. so yeah. I'm gonna lay down. Just pick a fit. It doesn't matter. Just pick. Oh, Pure Miko, I have to go in a bit, so I'll be missing most of the stream. So here you go for the last oh, day's stop miss. Thanks, Pure Thank Miko. Thank you, Pure Miko. Thank you, Pure Miko. Okay. Need, um, <clears throat> also, I think we probably hit the front page because we're at 720 oh, so viewers now. This yes, is be... and to the uh, the new people that are just tuning in to us, we're raising money for Doctors Without Borders. You That's what the little bar is over there. We've already raised over eighteen thousand dollars. If you guys can give, that's amazing. If not, be sure to come to our channel, join the chat, join the community. We're lovely people here. Mm -hmm. Hit the follow button, all that all right. stuff. Yep. We uh, we are playing a, a tabletop role playing game uh, called Fate, and specifically, we're playing a module called Uranium Chef, which is very much like Iron Chef, but in space. So that makes it better. With aliens. Uh, and Fantastic. Aliens. Uh, so, scene four. We're beginning the next scene. And as you'll remember from uh, talking about the rules earlier, when you're in a new scene, <coughs> you regain the ability to use any yes. of your one-time use stunts. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> as you approach the center, you notice that on the center of the stage is a large altar covered by a purple uh, silk sheet. Ooh. Chairwoman Malu Miris stands next to it, her steely gaze sizing you up. The lights overhead flood your eyes. The cameras roll. The show has started. Welcome, chefs, to Kitchen Arena. You have been brought here because you are the best culinary masters in the entire universe. Today, you will participate in a quick fire challenge. You'll make a single dish, which we will judge. Tomorrow, you will compete in a full cook-off competition, during which you will make several dishes. Competition will be fierce. Keep your utensils close, or others will take them from you. No. Physical contact is not only allowed, it is encouraged. Wow. Bones will be broken. <gasps> Skin will be burned. If your blood should flow, I recommend you keep it out of your dish. It might spoil the flavor. What if it pairs well? You may... Who are you? <laughs> you may interrupt your <laughs> opponents as they cook all you want, but I do have one restriction. Sabotaging the finished work of another is strictly forbidden. Anyone caught breaking this rule will be removed from the competition permanently. 
At the end of every episode, your dishes will be judged by our special guest. Depending on how well you do, your ranking will rise or oh, fall yeah. at the end of every episode. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Meow boss, meow boss, I had to fix it. Don't you dare mess up the number. Keep it whole. Keep, keep it, it nice. nice. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> You're the real hero. Uh, so, at the end of every episode, your dishes will be judged by our special guest. Depending on how well you do, your ranking will rise or fall at the end of every episode. After the semifinals, only the chef with the highest ranking will go on to the final match. They will have the honor of competing against my ultimate chef, the robotic Uranium Chef. It has never been beaten. Will you be the first to best it? I look forward to seeing you try. The chairwoman continues. In this competition, you'll be under a lot of pressure. Each of you put on a tough face, but under enough force, even the toughest shell can crack. This, of course, has inspired our first quick fire contest. Ooh. She grabs the sheet, removes it dramatically. Atop the altar is a cage filled with Vabothian sugar snails. Basketball sized, sweet tasting mollocks with rock hard shells. Your challenge <clears throat> make a dessert that includes the Vabothian sugar snails. You have only. Five temporal units, begin! And then she says, comments in Crayer or something. I don't speak okay. French. <laughs> so, uh, now we're going to engage in our first cook-off, okay? So this is going to be the, uh, the closest thing to combat that you're going to be seeing here. Um, during this time, you guys can spend your time cooking. You can spend your time attacking other players, sabotaging other players, trying to gain information. You've got five turns, okay? At the end of the fifth turn, that's when you need to have your dish completed, okay? So it needs to be uh, created and plated, mm -hmm. okay? If you don't have those two parts, if it is not created or plated, you will not get a score. Okay. You do not want to lose because then you could be removed from the entire thing. Yep. So <clears throat> um, let us begin. Let me get into the start of this. Now, who has the highest quickness stat? I have plus one. I have plus one. I have plus two. Rick has plus two. So Rick's going to be going first. Uh, let me pull up the cook-offs. What were they called? Something snails? Vabothian sugar snails. The size of basketballs? About the size of a basketball. Uh, and here, I'll even tell you there because there's stats on them just so you can know what the stats are for when you're creating dishes. So <laughs> a Vabothian sugar snail. Its aspect is it has a rock-hard sugar-coated shell. So if you want to get into that goodness, you're going to have to break through that shell, okay? Mm -hmm. It is uh, inside, it is squishy, and has a gooey body, okay? Okay. So that might play into the nature of the food that you're creating if you don't work with those textures. Um, its natural flavor is sweet, okay? okay? And the difficulty of using it uh, properly is average. So it's a plus one, okay? So anything you're doing with this dish, it's going to have a plus one on it. It's just a little bit harder to do, but it's average. Okay. okay. It's not too bad. All right. So you have uh, five turns. We're going to start with Rick. Let's go ahead and arrange everybody around. So can we're going to say this is Ashes. Can I ask you? Yep. Since I'm a pastry chef, mm -hmm. do I basically have the same thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So... Let's go ahead and start with the first round, okay? So oh, now this yeah. stuff kind of happens simultaneously. Woo! What was that? One rip through $60. Literally just saved $60 on my car insurance, so I'm passing the savings <laughs> on to you. Mary Stumpmas. <laughs> That's Next amazing. So Thank you so much, One Rick. I'm That's sure amazing. that the That's Doctors awesome. Without Borders will appreciate thank that. Thank you, And we One appreciate Rick. that, too. And thank you for not using cents in your donation. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you need cents to balance it, or Meowbox fix no, it? No, Meowbox okay. fixed it. Okay, yeah, I fixed it. Um, so, oh, you sent, you sent. Uh, okay. Before you go, Rick. Yes. The uh, someone else will go first. Oh. Of the oh. other participants, Somebody has right? more quickness. So, than I. what we're gonna say as like positions of people, we have uh, Rick. Yes. Or Zorby Borb. Zorby Borb. We have Zorby Borb Borbadorb. Wendy. We have uh, Macron. We have Chef Ramsay. Coco. Coco. And we have uh, Messbot. And okay. then over here, that's you, Ash. Yep. Uh, Thanos. So Thanos. this guy is just going to be a chef or Thanos. a judge. Do you have the infinity catfish? Thanos. Um, Thanos. Uh, I'm just curious. So, uh, Macron starts. And as you all may remember, 
Macron's a little. Oh, it still has some sense left. Macron no. is a little. Oh. Macron's a little drunk. Yes. All right. Yes. A little, a little very drunk. So <clears throat> Macron just bolts. Okay. <laughs> right for the altar. Basically, before the buzzer even goes off. Like right. Luckily, like right as the buzzer's going off, he's like going. But he neglects to notice that right in front of him is the oh, judge's yeah. altar. Oh, oh no. no. Ooh. Uh, Whoa. Jen Silverstone. $150.90. Notice Thank me, you. Stumpy. Love watching you three play. Been waiting for this stream all month. By the way, who is the new girl? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Uh, I think her name is Sandy. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so oh, yeah. Macron uh, runs. Oh, oh nine yeah. no, you guys uh, broke it again. Uh, I messed up last time. I had to fix it, but it was it's right too late. It's too late. No, it's messed, too late. Oh, it's too late because no. Jen fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> we passed 19k uh, people. Yes. 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 Thank, you. Thank you so much, y'all. So, um, so Macron runs, okay, and luckily there's no judges there, okay, yet, right? he, because the judges come halfway through. Now, so does he like knock some of the tables out of the so way? So what happens is he runs right into the judges' altar, falls flat on his face, and kind of slides <laughs> right up to the altar, okay. So. He doesn't actually get his ingredients on this first round. Oh. Okay, he his turn was wasted, smacking his face on the ground as he went. He's even left some skid. Marks. He left yeah, some he skid marks on the dry erase board. It's that vampiric glitter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Coco, who is totally fine, she is not drunk. Yeah. Uh, she is very fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. She, uh, like I said, you know, she has kind of like rodent features and whatnot like that. So she very quickly. Uh, you know, she has this kind of exterior of very much like proper and very like n nice and demure and whatnot. As soon as this starts, it's like something clicks, right? She, it just like she's it's, it's in the go zone. Time. Mm -hmm. So she all on hands and knees, like on on both all four, she just runs like this, okay? Scurries over to there and immediately grabs the biggest, most desirable looking rocks. Now she's got her hands right around it, okay? Next is Rick's turn. Okay, um, I am going to use my, I'm going to rush in, mm -hmm. okay, uh, use my camouflage again. Again? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm, uh, so, <laughs> first, can I, can I roll for how quickly I rush in? So, so Is wait. that... Are you, what are you, because that's going to be a quick roll, so that's, you're trying to do something fast. Yes. So you can't do something fast and sneaky, or you, what you can do is you can do something fast and then do something sneaky. Yes, that's what I would like to do. So you want to rush first. I would like to rush okay. to meet Coco. So you're trying to beat Coco to that one, to like the, like the nice best one? I'm trying, trying to, to reach Coco before she makes it back to her cooking station. Okay, so we're going to say that because of how fast... Coco is. Yes. The difficulty on that roll, we're going to say, is a two. Okay. And okay. Ad Wahiri, thank you very much for that. Thank you, AJ Wary. I think that that's going to add one cent on top of it. Yep. I think it messes <laughs> <up. laughs> Love me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Ooh, not a bad roll. I got two, four, um, plus quickness, two. So total? Four. Or, the total's four. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, no. total's six, right? Wait, no, because these are two each, right? Yeah, yeah so, so that's four, four plus quickness two. Oh, right. Six. So six. six. Yes. Okay, so you succeed. Oh, good. So you're able to get there. So right as Coco is grabbing onto that nice, big, the the best looking um, sugar snail, mm -hmm. right? You get your little things on it. Okay. <laughs> your tentacles. You suckers. Yep. Onto it. Okay. So you're, you're there. Yes. Now, what, what else did you want to do? Okay, I want to rip it away and uh -huh. then use my camouflage to escape. Oh, okay. I see what you're trying to do. Okay, so now it's it, this is like a, a sort of a combat situation between you and Coco. Yes. She's got her hands on it. You've got your hands on it. Yes. So right now, we're going to say you want to use an aggressive maneuver to try and wrench it free sure. from Coco. Okay. And so she's going to try and defend against I'm not that. very aggressive. That's, I'm sneaky, not aggressive. Sneaky, not aggressive. Okay, come on. Come on, big numbers. Oh, oh, that sucks. So you got a one? I got a one. All right. Uh, Coco got one, one two, two, three. three. Uh, so you fail to rip it from Coco's hands. Okay. But you've still got a grip still on it. Still got a grip on it. Okay. So both of you still have a grip on it. Okay. Nothing has happened there yet. 
And Coco's kind of like looking at you. Can't uh, she see him? He's, she, he's camouflaged. Yeah, he's yeah. camouflaged. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to try and camouflage still? I want to. I, I want to do one of these. Uh, oh I, yeah. I want to. Oh, dancer's foot. Thank you for oh, twenty eight dollars and nineteen cents. Oh. Let's get to twenty k. Thank okay. you so much. Thank I you would all. like to. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, I yeah. would like to. <laughs> Suda. Ah! <laughs> but hey, it helps the doctors. I love oh, it. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Oh, you guys. Okay. Aggressive didn't work. I would like to try to use my flashiness to distract her and get her to drop her gun. Okay. Okay. So what's the flat? How are you going to do that? What's so flashy? That I'm grabbing on with two tentacles at the moment. Okay. Oh, I've got a grip. Yeah. So you both got a grip on. Obviously, I need two to stand. Okay. I've got four more mm -hmm. that I'm going to start waving around like, who, who, what, what? Oh, come into this direction, come into this direction. Okay. Kind of like the way I would m mess with my dog with a ball. Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> in hopes that she drops her guard and then I sure, slip it sure, away. Sure, sure, No, totally. All right, let me uh, quickly pull up her character. Just, <laughs> just like my dog. <laughs> like, that's, it's such weird <laughs> stuff that you're doing there. Um, okay. <laughs> you guys in chat are the best. Okay, it's the answer for them. Go ahead and roll for that. So you're rolling for flashy. I'm yes. Okay. She might be watching. Is she on the tree? Okay. Yeah. okay. I got two, three, four, plus three, seven. Ooh, you just got a, a success with style. Nice. Okay. So that means <clears throat> you get to, uh, essentially, you get to invoke an aspect. Okay. Right? So you get to make something happen. So I assume the advantage you were trying to make was you wanted her to um, let go yes. of the thing because she's like distracted or shocked or surprised by this action. Indeed. Okay. So um, not only did you do that, okay? So you, you, your tentacles come out of your little bubble thing. They're kind of like, whoa. And she kind of goes like, oh, right? She gets like startled. Okay. So not only did that happen, but she's so shocked that she kind of like seems a little bit scared for a moment, right? So she's like a little bit stunned. Okay. Okay. So that's something that either you could try and take advantage of now in some way, or someone else could try and take advantage of within the next turn. Um, I will leave her to be stunned. I mm -hmm. just want to get this uh, Vabothian sugar snail back to my workstation. Okay. So then you're you're just going to run right back to your station across the pit of doom. Yes. So as you do that. Will you roll a quickness? Yes. Come on. Okay. Uh, we got four, five, yep. six, seven. Oh, yeah, oh. you're good. Nice. All right. Okay. So you make it back just fine. Rick got the biggest Vabothian sugar snail nice. that there was nice. uh, back to his <sighs> side. Thank goodness. Um, okay. And back on stage, we see Macron slowly, like, raising his hand up from drunken state, uh, trying to grab onto something. And we have Coco Ramsey up there, still kind of dazed from what just happened. Now, uh, Jazzy. Okay, uh, I want to get up there and I want to grab the next biggest size that I can find. Okay, yeah. so Jazzy, <laughs> do Conan. you? Conan 64, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Conan, much, Conan. $13. $13 for the 13th day of summons. Um, so, uh, yeah, you run across. Mm -hmm. Let me just quickly just. No, I have. Two two hands on one arm. Uh -huh. I want to carry two of them back. Oh, you want to try and get both. Okay. Uh, will you quickly run, uh, roll, oh, yeah. roll either a careful, a quick, <laughs> say a little OCD here, can't be on lives. What? But can't be on lives, but thanks for making me laugh. Keep up the good work. Can't be on the oh. Thank you, Saint. Um, and thank you so if that awesome. fix it. <laughs> so, uh, it quickly fixed. roll a careful or yep. a quick, whichever one you have highest. Careful. <laughs> okay. Oh God. This is two plus, what's your bonus? Uh, two, four. Okay, so you're good. Um, so you wanna run up and you want to grab two sugar snails. So you're yep. trying to get two for the price of one situation here. I might as well, I got okay. two extra, okay. I got an extra hand. So we're gonna call that, or well, you, you wait there. You, you're, we're gonna hold your turn until the other turns go. So um, Ash, how about you go? Me. Okay. Thanos. Um, yeah, I run up and I, I grab the next best looking sugar snail. Okay. So you and Jazzy are going for the same sugar snail. Although, <gasps> are we? So, so first, because you're both going for the next biggest one. All right. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Coco Ramsey's still dazed standing there. You run across here. Will you quickly roll a quick or uh, careful or sneaky 
The whatever is your highest? Mm, I'll go for sneaky. Okay. Uh, so what is it? That's two, one, so three. And then what's your sneaky? Uh, plus two. Okay. So five. Good. Um, so you run up there. So you've got one of your flippers on this nice big juicy uh, sugar snail, Fabothian sugar snail. Mm -hmm. Jazzy's got one of her hands on it and another one of her hands that's forking off of that grabbing onto another one right next to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So both of those look pretty good to you. Yep. And Jazzy's got a hand on both of them. Wendy, I should say. Um, now, uh, while all that's happening, y'all look back and you see Messbot. Messbot isn't actually even going up to the stage just yet. Messbot is clearly uh, kind of preparing his station. Okay. okay. Uh, so, now, y'all have to have a contest with one another over who is going to get this fanciest schmanciest snail. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you want to deal with that? You, each each one of you has a hand on it. Okay. Just like Rick had with Coco Ramsey. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I will try to make her hand slip on it. Ah. Uh, you're slippery, which is a, an aspect of your character. Is it a stunt? It's uh, a stunt. Okay. What does your stunt say? It just says I have slippery skin. Slippery skin. And I so. believe we talked about this earlier that Ash has the ability, if he wants, once per uh, scene, to apply this slippery coating onto something to make it harder for someone else to uh, use that thing. Oh, right? yeah. So you're using that. What was this that? Is this is painful, Ash. This Sheldon, Sheldon Turtle $20. $20. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheldon. Um, so Ash applies, your, you, you apply your slippery coating. I try to apply my slippery coating. Okay. Um, so that just happens. Okay. That just happens. Yeah. So, uh, Ash applied a slippery coating. So that makes it, it's harder for you to hold on to it. It's a little bit slippery. I'm pretty careful though. But you're very careful. So do you want to roll a careful roll? Yeah. To maybe see if you can't, um, uh, get a hold of that? All right. That's two, one, five. Nice. So one, two, six, eight. Okay. So... It ties. Uh, oh god! You so you tied the roll. So that means that um, you don't get to get a better grip on it, but you don't fully lose your grip on it, right? So you're still holding on to the second best one, mm -hmm. and you're kind of fighting to get a hold of this other one that Ash is grabbing onto. Uh, so Thanos, is there anything that you oh, want to try yeah. and do to get the rest of that from Jazz? <laughs> the galaxy a little deer told me it, it was, was even again. <laughs> 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 Firestar is, is <laughs> saboteur. Uh, uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Like, I don't want to... So, remind me, the stunts that I have, the ones that I can only use once, I, am I only going to be able to use that once this turn or once this, once like, this, whole uh, once this five... Challenge. This, once, whole this whole five challenge. This whole five-turn challenge. Right? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Unless Can't you, you wanna, spend a fate Unless you want to spend a fate point to use it. Oh. Because that's how you can use fate points, right? Use oh, it for free. I didn't realize that. That's okay. what they're for. Sapphire it's waffles with $20. Is, Thank you, Thank Sapphire. You, Sapphire. Uh, Be sure to write that one down. Uh, uh, do we replenish these every turn? Or do we... Every every five? Uh, so we replenish Every new them, scene. And, and, no, every new session. Session. You replenish these. But, oh, right, right, right. right but right. Um, because Ash applied the slippery to you, yes. you get a free fate token. <gasps> when people Ooh. do bad stuff to you, <clears throat> hey. you get a fate token. So also, um, Ramsey, if she were an actual player and not an NPC, she would have gotten a fate token for getting stunned by Rick when Rick went up and distracted her. Ah, okay. So here's your extra token. Um, well then, shoot. I'm not sure I really want to use any of my other stuns, especially mm -hmm. not the other one that I can only use once. Just be aggressive, dude. Um, What's your aggression at? Uh, then, yeah, time? I'll... No, I don't want to use aggression. Um, I'll be clever yeah. and try to trip her. You're going to try and trip Jazzy? Yeah. How so? Uh, so so Jazzy, you're kind of grabbing on, and so, it's a little slippery, so you are fighting exactly. it a little bit more, so you're a little distracted by that a little bit. Exactly. So, and plus, I've got, like, the slippery goo yeah. that's on it, but yeah. it's not really, like, her grip is so good, because she's got the three arms, <laughs> that the that her grip is not getting loosened by the slippery stuff, but some of it's dripping off, and I'm trying to kick some of the slippery stuff towards her feet. Oh. oh okay. Okay, so you're trying to... <clears throat> you're basically uh, slapping... <laughs> the snail in some way to try and knock that slippery stuff all over the floor. Or maybe just yeah. guide so her towards slip. the slippery puddle. Okay, so uh, then I think, so you're trying to be clever in doing that. I think that that would actually be more of a I think that's going to be a a sneaky, actually. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, because <clears throat> you're trying to do it without Jazzy seeing it. Yeah. I feel like a clever would be convincing her to give it up, but it's yeah. sneaky. Clever, clever is more, yeah, intelligence kind of. Sure. I'll okay. be sneaky. So you're trying to be sneaky. Yeah. Uh, and so Jazzy, you will get a chance to defend against this, but Ash, roll yours first. So you got a oh. three, three plus two. So five. you got a five. Uh, okay, so Jazzy, obviously you have to beat a five. Okay, it's um, not Jazz. We'll say you have, you're trying to avoid slipping. Um, you are a little distracted by what's going so on. So be careful? Um, I would say, yes, careful is okay. what you want to roll to defend against that, yeah. Ooh, come on, come on, Ooh, come on, baby, come on, be? baby. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Oh, is that a two? Oh, so got two, one. So you got a three, four. Got a four. Oh, that was that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Four. Plus two is six. Six. Ooh. And you had a five, right? Yep. yep. All right. So Jazzy wins that scenario. Okay. Oh. So here's the deal. Because you won that um, interaction, mm -hmm. you can actually uh, attempt to use the slipperiness against Ash. Mm -hmm. Oh. If you think that you can take advantage of that in some way. Um, I can actually, and I'm going to do it. What are you I'm going to use one of my oh, fate no. tokens since I have four. Okay. I since I have the ability to cool down things because I'm oh cold you resistant. you get to use it once for free before oh. you spend a fate token yeah so you can save your fate token use it for free right I'll use now. it for free right now yeah uh so as I'm slipping and like being careful I got the two rock snails right here I kind of almost do like a kind of a fake like I slid but I'm actually just touching it and as I like cast my hand around it it starts freezing all the slippery stuff on the floor mm -hmm. is that what you're saying. Okay, so, so so you're immune to your own slippery ash, but are you immune to ice? Ah. So, Ash, <clears throat> as a response to that action, mm -hmm. roll a careful roll. Okay. <laughs> I love this back and forth. Yeah, I know, right? It's your great. slippery versus my slippery. All right, so one, two, three. Okay, and what's your... Uh, careful's only one, so four. Okay, so Ash, you managed to avoid um, falling over or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, but you do lose grip on uh, the snail. Oh, right. no. So, Jazzy, you're able to get the, the two snails that you held on to. Um, Ash, you'll have to grab the next best snail. Okay. Uh, and uh, as that's happening, Macron finally gets up, kind of reaches over. What are we eating again? <laughs> oh, sugar snails. Lovely. <gasps> kind of reaches over and grabs the smallest ugliest looking little thing he's so cute <laughs> <laughs> so cute and then he slowly gets himself back up and starts slowly wandering back over this way so, so y'all can now both go back to your yes. stations so he grabs the worst one he he accidentally grabbed the worst yes one. got it. um so what's, what's ramsey still doing did she ramsey uh no yeah she's here she's stunned she's still yeah. like this mm -hmm. uh so hey, this dude still needs an ingredient right? he is still at his prep station yeah um so uh, finally, at the end of this kind of <clears throat> sequence, uh, Ramsey finds herself on the altar still, okay. okay, with all the ingredients and everything. Just kind of, oh goodness. Um, oh, and I should say, when you guys went up to get uh, to the altar, it's assumed that you also grabbed whatever other ingredients you needed mm -hmm. for okay. your dish, uh, because that's all up in the same area. Um, so, uh, Rick, you got the best uh, sugar snail, so you get it with a. Uh, a plus two cool. on that sugar snail. Jazzy, you get uh, two plus one sugar snails. Yes. Okay. Um, but you can only use one per dish, but you do have two plus one sugar snails. Uh, Ash, you have a standard sugar snail. Standard. Okay. And then the rest of the group, <coughs> they all got stuck with the worst ones. They have negatives. So oh, okay. just so you, as a reminder, a sugar snail by default has a plus one. So yours has a plus one. Yours has a plus two, each of them. And yours mm -hmm. has a plus three. Okay, so y'all got the best ingredients. Now it's time to start cooking. Got cool. it. Now, we've got four more turns. Within these turns, you need to make a main dish. You need to plate that dish. You can make side dishes, sauces, whatever else you want in order to boost that dish. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also attack or sabotage other players, NPCs or other characters. Um, so that'll all be up to you how you guys want to spend your time. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, instructions for how to uh, make a main dish, just oh. so that you're aware. So nice. you've already done the first step, which is collecting the secret ingredients. You've mm -hmm. all got your secret ingredients, mm -hmm. which are the sugar snails. So now 
what you'll do is you'll decide um, what you're creating. If you're, if you're going to want to cook, you're going to decide what you're creating. It's called the main aspect. Okay, so what type of dish are you going to make? Um, and then you want to decide what approach you're going to use. So these are sweet by default. So if you make a sweet dish with them, you kind of just get to combine the sweet uh, effect of it already with your sweet skill as you're rolling to try and succeed with making this dish. But maybe you're really bad at making sweet dishes, oh, yeah. but you're really good at making, say, savory or spicy dishes. Then what you can do instead is you can try and mask the natural flavor. <laughs> Taz Derek, I got off. Last donation. Thank you all for uh, stuntmas. Looking forward to more. Got to get rid of these scents. Thank, Thank you so much, Devin. Devin. Thank you. You're the real hero. I think that evens out McGalaxy's 1003. You know that yeah. another one's going to come in in like two seconds. Had to fix those scents. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so... Uh, once you've decided if you want to either work with the dish, like work with the main flavor, or mask the main flavor, then we'll move on to um, actually making the dish. So what you'll do is you'll pick basically how hard of a dish you want to try for. So the harder you pick, the better quality it's going to be in the end, but the harder a roll you're going to have to roll to try and succeed for that. Okay? That'll all be based on your stats and everything, so we'll get there as we get there. Um, and then finally, if you succeed, you create that dish, and then you can move on to uh, making other side dishes, sabotaging, or anything else like that. Got Make it. sense? Yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> so uh, as we remember, Macron had the first turn last time, and so he made it back to his uh, station, and he seems to be really focused on just like looking at and talking to the snail. Okay. He has a bottle of cooking sherry of some sort next to him, but he doesn't seem to be using it in any form of cooking. He just keeps drinking it. And every now and then he pours some into like a little saucer next to the snail. Uh, but the snail seems into it. You know, he's like this. He's like... Uh, what's that line in Scrubs? Be careful, little ducky. <laughs> you, some ducks can't hold their neck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. Exactly like that. Uh, Coco Ramsey, she snaps out of it, looks at the table. She kind of has like a an angry look on her face. She looks in the direction of Zorbiborg. <laughs> and then she grabs the nearest uh, snail and runs back to her station. You can see she's furiously uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, she's kicked into high gear. Um, Messbot finally leaves his station, and you see him just casually saunter up here, grab something, and so come back. Strange, All right. Messbot. So hold up. Yeah. He's allowed to grab the ingredient this turn still? Shouldn't he have to wait until next turn? Doesn't he? This get... is the second turn. We're this on the is... second turn now. He, no. he grabbed his ingredient, but right. is he allowed to get back? In I was going to say. Oh, yeah, yeah no, he's, he's, a... not, he's not doing anything. He literally just grabbed yeah. it. Yeah. His whole turn is grabbing that ingredient. Right? Grabbed it and went back. Okay. Yeah. Dunkbot with $20.17. <laughs> totally trying to fix the sense. <laughs> Honest. Totally. Not making it worse than anything. Thanks, <laughs> oh. You're the best. I think that Dunkbot might be mess bot now. He's mm. making a mess of the sense. So, um, now Rick. It's Rick. Okay. Zorby Borb, what do you do? Um, Excuse me, Borb, 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 <clears throat> Brand. Right. Yeah. So I can create my dish and then go on to create side dishes, right? Yes. Okay, I can plate this and then create others? You can't, you can't, once it's done plating, it's done. Okay, okay. Okay, so like that's the whole thing. But remember, once it's plated, it's also, no one can mess with it. Right. So it's kind of, that's the thing you want to balance is how many side dishes do I want to wait? while this is also leaving it open for people to potentially ruin my dish if they kind of think that I need to be knocked down a peg. Okay, I want to create my first dish. Okay. Uh, my- Your main aspect, so it, it's the sugar snails. Balbothian sugar snails. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I want to prepare these guys. So what do you want to, what kind of a dish do you want to make? Um, I want to make um, like- They're snails, they're sweet. Yes. They're uh, gooey. I would like to make a sort of like a Valbothian sugar snail, like sort of tenderloin. Okay. Oh, hmm. so I, you want to go for something like savory. I want to, well, I want to take the sugar snail mm -hmm. and I want to fillet it. Okay. And then I want to wrap it with some savory as well. So you okay. get the sweet and savory. When you make a pork tenderloin, you, you roll it. I see. So you, you see? want, you want it to be a sweet flavor with also some savory on it yes. as well. So... You might want to do that as a um, the uh, in two parts. Yes. So the sweet part being the main aspect, the savory part being the secondary aspect, sure. and combining those together. Yes. So the thing that I will say, and so this is where the um, side dish versus main aspect thing gets really important. The main aspect sets the highest number that you can have. Okay. Okay. So if you pick sweet as the main aspect, you're working with the sugar snail, so mm -hmm. you're going to be able to get that bonus that you got the plus three on your end. Um, 
and then add your uh, sugar to that, roll for it, and see what score you get. If you make a side dish that goes along with it, the highest number that that can reach is the number that your main aspect is at. Make sense? Yes. So if let's say you got a six on mm -hmm. your main aspect. A side dish, even if you rolled for like a nine or a 10 or 11 or something like that, the highest it could be is a six. Okay. Cool. Make sense? Yes. And then combined together, that would be like a 12. Right. Yeah. Okay. So um, do you want to, with the first part, the preparing, the cutting and then preparing the filet, mm -hmm. do you want that to be um, sweet or do you want that to be savory? That'll be sweet. Okay. Sweet. So what you're going to do, uh, you have your plus three from the um, sugar snail itself. Yes. You have whatever your sweet... Which uh, is zero. A zero. Okay, so three is the total bonus that you're going to get for rolling for this. Unless you have any other stunts or anything like that you want to apply I to this. I do not. Um, so, wait. Choose... What about prepping? Uh, well, you have quick prep. So yes. you can do that instantly. So yes. That's an instant thing you can do. So that's one of Rick's abilities. Because of his multiple arms, he can quick prep. Um, what would you like to prep that you think will help you in this situation? I want to sharpen my knives. You want to sharpen your knives? Yes. Okay. So you, um, so go ahead and check that off that you used it. Um, so basically two of Rick's little tentacles come like down from his little, uh, bubble face thing and they reach over and they're back here sharpening all of his knives while he's also kind of messing with the sugar snail. So, um, that will give you, what did we say it is a plus two? Uh, yes, a plus two. Okay, so it's a plus two to preparing your main aspect. Yes. So that gives you a total of a plus five that's your bonus that you're going to get. Yes. Okay? Now, you have to pick the difficulty that you want to roll against, and that's going to be the score of your dish. So, for example, a plus five you're going to get automatically because your bonus is plus five, mm -hmm. right? So you can't lose that. Right. Now, if you want to aim for something a little higher, you could do that, but you got to roll for it, and you got to get those extra rolls, right? I want to aim for something a little higher. Okay. What do you want to roll for? Um, so what are the tiers that I can aim for? Uh, I mean, there's different, like, just pick a, like, pick a number. There are, seven. so eight, for example, is legendary. Okay. So you want to aim for a seven. Okay. Yes. So it's going to be like extraordinary. So it's a five in addition to whatever I roll. Is that right? Yes. So okay. you're, so to beat a seven, you need to roll a two. Right. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yes. Go for it. You got awesome. it. Awesome. I should have right. gotten So you see, now this is an example of if Rick had said he wanted to do a 10, he could have gotten a 10. Could have gotten a uh, 10. Right? Oh, uh, okay. Got um, it. But there's that risk. I played the safe. Associated with I went with 7. So okay. you got a 7. You have a level 7 quality main sweet aspect awesome. dish. Um, you succeeded. Um, and now you should give your dish a name before we move on to um, the next turn. Because okay. that, that's going to be your turn. Preparing the main aspect, that's a turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call it a sugar snail roll. The sugar snail roll. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you have a level seven sugar snail roll. You should write that down. I'll write it down as well. <laughs> this is important because this is how I'm going to figure out who wins. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> so it's so a plus seven. And remember, people can mess with it. Um, sugar snail. Roll. All right. So All right. This entire turn, he's just made that one dish. That's what he did. He okay. spent all of his time focused on cutting the snail out of its shell, preparing it, and he, he man, did he get that filet. And yeah. it was the and biggest one, so that's why it was so And technically, nice. this is turn two, right? Turn this one is turn was, two. Yeah. Turn one was the getting there. So yeah. we are on currently on turn two. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put one, two, three, four, five across the top. Boom. One is marked up. Okay. So, uh, Jazzy, what would you like to do for your turn? Um, just trying to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Um, so, the Vibrissi and Shaker Shale... The, sh the shell itself is rock hard, right? Is yes. it made of sugar? No. No? The shell itself is Have a good night. Thank you, Doug. It's mostly... It's Thank you, rock. sir. It's rock. Okay. Yes. That actually answers my question. Wait, so, sorry. I missed that. It's not edible? It's not the edible. The shell is not edible. No. All right. So I want to make like this really nice kind of like moose dish. Mm -hmm. Like an actual like really fluffy moose. Fluffy moose. Okay. Well, you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yeah, yes, like, yes, yes. And it's going to have like... It's going to taste like chocolate, but it's also going to have like a nice creaminess to it. And okay. I kind of want to like do like a trifle where it's layered with like a little bit of sponge. Okay. Yeah. So for the main aspect, so you're, you're going for a trifle. So that's going to, mm -hmm. you're going to, that's going to probably have multiple side aspects to it that you want to add to it to mm -hmm. get those things because, um, the sweet, what was that? Ooh, Mr. That Flame. Was Mr. Flame. Thank you, Mr. Flame. Flame. Wish I had money to donate. You guys are doing this great cause. I wish I had contributed. I watched ads for these bits. Thank you so much <laughs> for that. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Flame. I it. Um, so, uh, you'll want to start with probably the, with the main aspect, whatever you mm -hmm. want to be the main part of it. Mm -hmm. I'd assume again with it being it a would sweet be the dish, moose, yeah. 
um, you would work with that. Then uh, chocolate is considered bitter. Oh. Uh, and so that would be, a, you could add a side aspect of chocolate Can afterwards. I, okay, so maybe uh, instead of chocolate, maybe I should do something different. Uh, you can still do that. You yeah. just got, you're starting with the first part, which wouldn't be chocolate flavored. It would just be the sweet sugar snail yeah. component. If you're doing it in layers, yeah. you could do it like that. So just consider it. The main aspect is the first part that you're doing. Then you could do for your second, your side aspect, you could add the chocolate component. And then for the third part, you could add, um, what was the other part? You wanted creamy. If you wanted to add an additional creamy texture to it, that would be cool. No, the whole, the, it would be, the, the mousse itself would be creamy. It would be the, like the cake in between. Okay, so yeah. so the components that you want then, what's the main component that you want? It would be the, the, is it sweet, the snail. Or is sweet. it, okay, so sweet. So you want to yeah. start with a main sweet component. Mm -hmm. So is that the... The, uh, the snail, the snail mousse. The snail mousse. Okay, so you're making a snail flavored mousse yeah. as the main component. Okay, so you're working on your Vabothian sugar snail mousse. So uh, you have a plus two Vabothian sugar snail. Um, I have you, two of them. You have two of them, so you have, but you yes. can only use one per dish so you could make a second dish with mm -hmm. it uh if you wanted to but um for this one the bonus that you get is a plus two um so then um you get the plus two from that you get your sweet bonus whatever that is mm -hmm. and then any other stunts that you want to use if you want to use a stunt um and yeah, then i like to use a stunt okay so what uh what's your total um so plus two three so so far it's five mm-hmm because I have plus three is my sweetness, uh -huh. the two. And then I want to use uh, my other action, I call it double time, where I can mm -hmm. basically like take both my other hands mm -hmm. and I can like furiously whip it. And so so what's it that actually goes do? faster. It's a one quick movement. So what, But what does that do to help the sweetness of this dish? Well, it helps the fluffiness of it. So I guess that would be the... Okay, cool. so, you, so it's going to improve the quality yeah. of the thing that you're producing. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Uh, so we can give that another... Um, We'll call that a plus one. Okay. So you get the plus one for that. You get the plus three from your suite, and you get the plus so two from your You have a total of a plus six. Yeah. So then what difficulty do you want to roll against? Oh, since I have plus six. Then you can go high. I could probably go high. Let's do, um, let's say nine. You want to go for a nine? Okay. Six so you got to roll at least three. Three. You can do that. <gasps> one, two, three. Ooh. <laughs> so you match it. You got it. Jazzy has, you have a plus nine. Uh, Vabothian sugar snail mousse, and you even like from the uh, across the mm -hmm. uh, the room, you you see um, Coco, right? And she kind of goes, she looks over, she kind of gives you a thumbs up, <laughs> 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 and then she looks back at what she's doing. <clears throat> okay, so uh, yes, yeah, so you got the plus nine Vabothian wow. sugar snail mousse. Wow, hey, Coco, are that's becoming fast friends. Incredible. Okay, she so, remembers me. Um, We're roommates, for God's sake. We'll see when this is all over. So, uh, Ash, <laughs> yes, what would you do? All right, so I have a couple of leading questions. Yes. First, <laughs> these snails. Yes. You said there were snails. Are they sea snails? Uh, no, they're rock snails, right? So I believe that that implies that they're terrestrial. Okay, that answers my question. Um... In that case, I am... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot what Ash is going to do. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to prepare um, a sweet and spicy stir-fry. Sweet and spicy stir-fry. All right. Yeah. So I assume you're starting with the sweet part. I'm starting with the sweet part. That's going to be the okay. main aspect of it. I'm going to yank out the snail's flesh, dice it up into some good, like, one-inch pieces, bread it, and then create a nice spicy sauce to go Ooh. On it. Okay, so the spicy sauce, we'll save that for your next uh, turn. That'll be a, a side dish, a side aspect, as yep. they're called. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, so then you want to prepare that. So, um, I assume you're working with the sweet. Yep. So you'll get the bonus. You get the plus one for the snail. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your sweet ability? Uh, my sweet is plus three. Plus three, so that's a plus four total that you have. Do you have any other stunts or abilities that you want to apply to that in some way? Uh, not to this, I don't think. Uh, no. And I guess I'll remind everybody um, <clears throat> that going forward, if um, you think of something that would be a good aspect that you think <laughs> would apply, mm -hmm. right? Just say it, like, we'll, and we'll talk through it, if it works or if it doesn't, right? Like, oh, I remember one time I trained with this person over in this place, and they taught me this one technique, right? Right. If we think it fits, if we don't think it's uh, too excessive, we can give you a thing. And also, you all still have one free aspect left, right? Because yeah. you all only had four to start with? Yeah. 
but you, you're supposed to have five. You get five total. So you all have a free aspect still to use. Got it. <laughs> um, okay, so then uh, you have a four total bonus. What would you like to roll as your difficulty for that? Um, so, like, uh, I'd say that I'm hoping to get... Like, what, what, Jazz went for a seven, and Rick went for a six? No, I, I went, went for a, a seven, she went for a nine. He got a seven. Oh. Jazzy! <laughs> this played well to you. <laughs> so, like, okay, so I've got a, a four right now, and let's say if I wanted to go for a seven, then I would only need to roll three? Yep. Is that right? Yes. Got it. Yeah, I'll go for seven. Go for a seven. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got you it. You got, got it. it. Well done. You could have gotten it like a twelve. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so you got a plus seven. We're going to start this as a sweet sugar snail uh, stir fry. Stir fry. Okay. So, um, like I said, Macron, you're not quite sure what that guy's doing, but he's, sharing, he's making friends. He's sharing wine with a snail. <laughs> uh, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, Messbot just got back with his snail. And uh, Coco is furiously doing all kinds of stuff on her. You can't quite tell. It's almost like a cloud of, you know, flour and everything else just floating everywhere. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> and thumbs. Um, and what? And thumbs. And thumbs. Yeah. A couple of thumbs. A couple of thumbs. thumbs. One thumb. One thumb confirmed. At least one thumb. Okay. So that was round two. We're on to round three or uh, turn three. Uh, what would you all like to do mm. on this turn? Before we get on to that, now we have to go to what do the rest of them do? Now, uh, Macron seems to be slowly wandering over to Jazzy Station. Oh, oh no, okay. no. And he kind of like comes up to you and he's like, I don't believe we've met before. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Macron. <laughs> How do you do? I am fantastic. I see you're making something delicious looking. May I have a taste? <laughs> oh, no. Only if Here, I let me have. Let me just have a little bit of this. Let me... Let me. Uh, he's he's reaching over into. No no your no! Dish. I'm gonna slap him away. I got, I can double slap him. Double slap. Okay. I'm double slapping okay. that away. So uh, I want you to roll an aggressive. All right. God. And he's not he's not too yeah. uh, much of a threat right now. It seems. Oh. Okay. So four. You five. You come down with a double smack. One hand on top of the other. Smack smack. And like it just hits him yeah. super loud. Like it's like a thunderous crack. Right? Silence <laughs> rings out through the arena. Everybody kind of stops just for a second and then like looks over at what just happened. Macron's sitting there, eyes wide. <laughs> and then he sort of wails. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> Are you cooking with garlic? And then runs back to his station. Are you cooking with garlic? No. No, but it hurts so much. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's all that Macron does. Uh, and then he goes back to it seems like he's maybe messing, you know, with a dish or something like that. But you you got him out of there, and he didn't mm -hmm. seem to have done anything uh, negative. Um, Coco runs back across to the altar. You guys aren't sure exactly what she's doing. She ran back across the altar uh, and then runs back. And as she makes it this way, okay, right as she's about to get back into her area, um, you hear a clicking noise. Okay. And you see a tiny little tentacle reach out from under the ground oh. and wrap itself around her leg. Oh, no. What? As she's trying to run uh -oh. back. Okay. So she sort of is shocked. Wait, I missed it. Why did she go out there to begin with? She went to get more ingredients. You're not quite sure. Okay. Um, so she's got a tentacle wrapped around her leg. She's like, help! Help someone help! It's got me! It's got me! Ooh. Ooh. Rick's turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's on her own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Indeed, Meow Boss. Space oh, vampires geez. have earth weaknesses. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I want to help her. You know what? Here's... I'm, I'm going to run out there. I'm going to regret doing this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross over. And what do you do? Okay. And I'm going to wrap myself around the altar mm -hmm. using half of my tentacles. Okay. The other four, I'm going to wrap around Coco. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to start dragging her away from this tentacle monster that's trying to pull her down. So, just to clarify, uh-huh. she's being grabbed by tentacles around her leg. Yes. And you're now wrapping the rest of her body with tentacles. Because <laughs> I'm imagining this <laughs> tentacle that's around her leg trying to pull her into the yes. fire. I'm okay. trying to pull her out of the right. fire. Okay, so... Good tentacles. So, yeah, good tentacles. <laughs> so, you start uh, pulling on her. Uh, I'll say... We're going to call that a quick move. Okay. Okay? You're trying to get her to safety. Uh, I got... Two, Ooh. three, oh, I only got five. Five, okay. So, um, <laughs> in your attempt to pull Coco out of this uh, precarious uh, predicament, uh-huh. um, you end up triggering another uh, set of tentacles. Oh, so shoot. now, oh, God. two more plates open up in the ground. <laughs> and two more tentacles shoot out. And they wrap themselves around your tentacles now. So now you are locked in this position with Coco. Is there anything else that you would like to try and do? Are these, I do have are sure these good tentacles or are these bad tentacles? They're bad tentacles. Oh. I do have sure grip. Sure grip, okay. Which gives me extra grip. Okay. Okay. So what do you want to do with that? Well, I, I just I just want to make that known mm-hmm. that my grip is extra grippy. Extra grippy. <laughs> so you're not be you are not letting go of That's Coco right. or the altar. That's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so now, how many tentacles have me? Two. Two tentacles have me. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to do. With one, I'm going to let one tentacle go from the altar. Okay. And I'm going to pull out my knife. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now I'm going to chop at the two tentacles that are grabbing me. Okay. Okay. Actually, so- no. I want to chop at the tentacle that's grabbing Coco to pull okay. her to safety. Okay. That's what I want to do. So, we're going to call that an aggressive. Okay. All right? So, let's roll aggressive. I'm not aggressive. I, I have zero aggressiveness, but let's hope for a high roll here. Are these fire tentacles? They're not fire tentacles. They're just tentacles. They just okay. Uh, I have... Okay. Ooh, I got two plus two. That's four. Uh, uh, no, six. I'm sorry. Six. Yeah, you got six. I got six. Uh, okay. Mm. So... You succeed. Yes! Uh, and you actually succeed with style. So, oh, nice! So... <clears throat> Here's what we'll say. We're going to say what happens, and then we'll we'll move forward there. So, uh, the cameras are all just turned right onto this. Like this is gold. Okay, mm-hmm. Holly Go Lightwave. She uh, appears like kind of like right next to you. Like while this is all happening, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, hey, Holly. So you're you're kind of <clears throat> gripped. You, you've got your knife out, and Holly's like. Hey there, Zorba Borb. Looks hey. like you're in a bit of a pickle. Yeah. What's going on? Could you tell us what's happening right now? I felt really bad about what I did to Coco earlier, so I thought <laughs> I'd try to make up for it by saving her life right now. And how do you feel you're doing with that? I feel like I'm about halfway there. All right. And so uh, <laughs> while Holly is sitting here like interviewing you while this is happening, uh-huh. you do the, you pull the knife out uh-huh. and you slice at the one <laughs> underneath uh, Coco. And while you're doing that, uh, the momentum that you use, it kind of carries you in this really powerful spin. Cool. And you actually are able to take out the other two tentacles nice. that have you gripped right now. So uh, you and Coco kind of uh, fall back into the altar uh, and you've kind of, you've pulled her to safety. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I guess that makes up for what you did earlier. I hope so. Please forgive me. Oh, it's all right. Thank you, Coco. And so <laughs> she runs back over to her uh, altar, and uh, what would you like to do next? I just want to return to my workstation. Okay, go ahead and return to your workstation. Your turn is completed. You yes. have saved Coco. Um, and that definitely, I think, has smoothed over your relational issues that you had with uh, her yes. earlier. She seems to be um, in less of a fury now as she's uh, preparing. Like, very Less cool. dusty very clouds. Cool. Less, mm-hmm. less anger about. Bury that um, hatchet. Okay. So, Jazzy. I have a question. Yes. Plating? Mm-hmm. Is that takes its own turn? Takes its own turn. Okay. Yes. And when you plate, do you also give to the judge or is that another turn? The, ju- the giving to the judge, you don't have to do that as a turn. That's like the that happens okay. afterwards. Uh, so plating is that you, once you've plated something, though, it's done. So I want to plate my dish before anybody else tries to dick with it. So you're just going to plate it now. <laughs> because you're not Macron gonna, uh, already tried <laughs> to put a spoon in there, and it's all That's nicely true. layered. Yeah. It's got beautiful curls. Like all these sugar curls well, and stuff yeah. like People that. People might still be able to mess with it even when it's plated. No, no, no you no. cannot mess with it when it's plated. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Uh, so you're you're just gonna go for a plating. I'm gonna go for a plating of okay. my trifle. I have this beautiful uh, glass jar, so you can actually see the layers. Mm-hmm. And it, before I said chocolate, you said yeah. it was bitter. I didn't want to do that. So what I did? Yeah, I didn't realize chocolate was bitter. I found this. Uh, 
Zornian fruit that tastes exactly like strawberries. It's Zornian. so Zornian. good. Okay, so so wait, you want to add that to it? No, it's in the other one previously. It was already in there. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So so it's got like this nice red ring of mousse, a little tiny sponge cake. But once you start plating this, no one's going to see those layers properly, Jasmine. And no, she puts you, it into a, a see-through glass. Yeah. It's it's a really nice little trifle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, um. I'm just gonna. I'm just reading about plating. Let's see. Because Macron already tried to put a spoon in it. He did. Shame. For shame. shame. He just wanted to taste. It, it actually hurt. So delicious. Did you just hurt yourself? I. I well, you just bad. double slapped yourself. I, oh. You played yourself. Okay. Played so, um. So you said you want to add. You're adding a garnish of strawberries. You have mm -hmm. uh, perfect. Concentrical rings. Mm -hmm. um, you have this nice glass that you're putting it into. I would say that that sounds to me like a moderately difficult plate. Mm -hmm. So it's a plus two. Okay. okay? So uh, as far as rolling for that, you're going to use your careful. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and roll a careful roll, and you just need to beat two. Uh, oh, I already done it. You already, I already you have to beat plus it? two. Uh, okay. So then I don't think I don't think you can succeed with style. Um, as far as I can tell, I mean, I can still roll. Go ahead and roll for it. We'll just see what you get. Oh, okay. so you would have only. So I'm at three. You have, you have a three. Okay, so then it wouldn't matter anyways. Yeah. So, uh, that so you'll get. Roll. You'll that was get, a really bad roll. Uh, let's name that plating aspect that you um, just did. So, what do you? What would you say? What would you give a label to that? Um, I have a beautiful four. Or no, wait. So, I guess four tier. A four tier. Dad likes pie. Just resub. Thank you, Dad. Months. Thank you so much. Drop them bears. For both the sugar snail trifle. Okay. With a strawberry, or the can't remember what I called it now. Garnish. With the that strawberry fruit garnish. So like I with like, the Zorbian. 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 Yep. Like I, I peeled it so it's nice and curly. Okay. Zorbian yeah. uh, strawberry. Curly strawberry. Curly strawberry garnish. Curls. Yeah. Okay, so you have a four tier of both uh, uh, four tier of both ends, sugar snail trifle with Zorbian strawberry curls. Mm -hmm. All right, and the total score on that is a plus eleven, and it is plated. Okay, so Jazzy now has two more turns after this to mess with people, basically. Um, so uh, Ash, what would you like to do on your turn? Uh, I want to still make my spicy sauce. Spicy sauce time. And okay. And I'd also like to make rice. I don't know if that needs to be a whole separate turn as well. Uh, if you wanted to have an impact on the score, it does. Okay. So and if sure. you want to have a bonus of that. So, okay. So you've already got a sweet aspect. Okay. Yeah. So this is something I mentioned earlier, but I'll bring it back up again. Um, once you've created something with uh, flavor, right? Yeah. So your main aspect is sweet. Yep. And you can't make another sweet thing to add to it. You've right. already got all the sweet that you can put into there. But spicy, you can do. Yep. So you want to make a side aspect of... Um, spicy, specifically a sauce. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Did I understand this correctly? The next aspect cannot be higher than the first aspect. It cannot exceed. So my right. sweet is seven, so I can't you cannot exceed. Ever, you cannot get higher than a seven right. on this. Yeah. Um, so uh, what you're going to do, much like we did with the dish earlier, um, you're going to um, roll for this. Now, this, I do believe with side aspects, you can get a um, success with style. Okay. Oh. So that gives you. Do you, you want to switch over to Rush? Yes. What's up? Yeah, switch to you. Ha ha. I believe so. Uh, or maybe no. You know what? No, that it has to do with if you have certain bonuses, if you have certain stunts, right? You can add more um, on top of it. Um, so um, let us go ahead and roll for a spicy. What difficulty do you want to roll against? Um. So I only have a plus two to spicy, so I'm going to try to go for a five total. A five. And what is the uh, food that you're using as the spicy base? Ooh. So I um, am going to be using some blue finian red chili peppers. Okay. And is there anything in particular that makes these um, chili peppers difficult to work with? You know, they are uh, extra seedy. Thick pods. To Thick them. pods. You've got you to work with those. Yeah. Okay. So what that's going to do... It's going to increase the difficulty of your roll, mm -hmm. but it's also going to give you a higher <clears throat> score in the end. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, um, let's say. So, what's what did you want to roll for? Total? Uh, five total. I have a plus two to spicy right now. 
Five total, plus two to spicy. Uh, okay, so first let's have you roll to remove the seeds. Okay. Okay, so like that's going to be what you're going to do. So we're going to call that a... Well, how do you want to remove the seeds? What do you think is the best way to remove those seeds? You're the person who's worked with these before. The uh, since I, I'm the expert and I've worked with them before, I'll go for flashy. Oh, flashy. So what does that what does that look like? How is it? Uh, that means that you know, because I'm from the planet Bluefin, I know the easy way to pop off the top of them and just quickly shake out oh, the okay. seeds and stuff that other wow. people may not understand. That you don't have to just crack into them; you can just pop it right off. Okay, well, uh, do you have flashy. any aspects that you're drawing on that give you that knowledge? Well, you know, my I've, I'm trained as a master chef, not necessarily, uh, not necessarily. I, I'm trained in cheese rather than mm. in spicy stuff, but I'm trained as a master chef. Plus, I'm from the planet Bluefin. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so you're going to say that this is this is a Bluefinian yeah. kind of um, skill passed down exactly. through generations. Everyone from this planet okay. no understands so, how to use these. So things. you. You pull out those uh, the peppers, right? You've got yep. you already got them because you had planned ahead. You were going to be doing this. You grabbed them when you grabbed the um, different oh, um, ingredients. So you, uh, as you're doing this, Holly go lightweight. She pops up. Oh, Holly! What else? I'm so excited to be talking to you right now. Could you please tell us what it is that you're trying to cook right now? Well, Holly, I'm working with Bluefinian red chili peppers. <laughs> Ordinarily, a lot of people consider these to be quite difficult to work with. But really, if you've worked with them as much as I have, you'll see it's really just a snap. Wow, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Why don't you show snap. us? All right. Okay, so you're going to roll a flashy yeah. uh, against the difficulty of these. Um, so go ahead and do your roll. Okay. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you succeed. Sweet. Uh, it's not it's not a success with style. It's nothing like crazy out of the ordinary, anything like yeah. that. But you do, you know, you got a little bit of flair there, right? So you're kind of mm -hmm. knocking the tops off. You're popping those seeds out. Look very flashy. Yeah. And Holly seems a little impressed. She's like, nice. Oh my, quite the skills you've got there. I hope that that comes through in the flavor. Ah. Thank you so much. Back to you, Dr. Durian. And then she disappears again. Uh, so, uh, you succeeded at getting the seeds out without causing any issue to the chilies. So, um, now let's roll against your... Spicy? Uh, the gold that you wanted to go for. Yes, the yeah, spicy. Yeah, so five total is what I'm... You want to aim for five? Five total, yeah. So I've only okay. got a plus two to spicy, so I'm hoping to get a three. You're hoping to get three. Okay, go for it. Okay, yeah. you got it. Uh, so you got a... A five, yep. and you add a plus one on top of that because of the difficulty of the chili peppers that we mm -hmm. talked about. So you got a plus six yep. on that spicy. So you've now prepared your chili sauce uh, with a total of a plus six. Yep. Okay. So we're going to add that to your dish right here. Plus six. Spicy bluefinian chili sauce. Okay. You're going to have to get another page. I'm going to have to get another page. I ripped that one in half. <laughs> uh, okay. So... Uh, Messbot continues to do his own thing. All right, so that's the end of turn three. Freaking I don't, Messbot. I don't think we're going to be getting through the whole uh, episode today, <laughs> but hopefully y'all out there are enjoying this because I'm having fun with this. this yeah, yeah this no, part. this is great. Uh, okay, so turn four. All right. <clears throat> Macron wanders a little bit over your way, a little bit, and then kind of like has like one of these like, hmm. <laughs> kind of looks. <laughs> Macron has yet to cook anything, yeah. by the way. Uh, so he goes back to his snail, right? Um, Is his snail still alive? Yeah, yeah. if, if well, not I mean, a bit drunk. It's a little drunk. <laughs> you can't quite tell what's going on over there. You know that like, you see him doing stuff with the snail. But you're not sure exactly what's going on. Now, he has been, while he's been kind of <laughs> bouncing back and forth, right? You have seen him throw a couple of things in and out of like dishes and whatnot. So it's like... There seems to be something going on, but you're not quite sure. Okay. 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 Um, Coco, uh, again, is working on her things all on her own. She's just fine. Messbot seems to be looking around a lot. Okay. Oh. He's looking around a lot. All right. He has, does not do anything yet, but you can see that he's looking around a little bit. Uh, Rick. Okay. Uh, I would like to begin my second aspect of okay. this you role. Okay. Yeah, you want to do a side I'm aspect? going for the savory aspect. Okay. And what is going to be your savory aspect? Uh, they're going to be uh, Cardovian musk beetles. Cardovian musk beetles. Yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to use these Cardovian musk beetles. Uh, they burrow very deep underground. Okay. Hard to find. Uh, Holly pops up. Tell me more. These Cardovian musk beetles, uh, the, the musk, the flavor actually comes from the way that you kill them. 
and oh. you have to actually chop up, chop them into four sections simultaneously. You got to make sure that you cut it just right. So then you're using the fresh Cardovian musk beetles. You're going to have to kill them yourself. And th actually, the way that I kill them is actually pretty unique. You'll see, and I throw it up in the air, and then four of my tentacles pull out four knives, and I whoosh, slice it. Okay, so uh, would you say that that is a quick action? That is a flashy action. You, you, oh, you want it to be flashy. Okay, oh, yeah. so you're kind of like, not only are you doing it, but you're, like, you're throwing those oh, yeah. eyes around. Maybe maybe like your camouflage on your skin is kind of like making oh, little yeah. like, glimmers. Stuff. Okay, so you want to go for a flashy cut against these Cardovian musk beetles. How, how dangerous are these Cardovian musk beetles? Uh, the beetles aren't dangerous okay. if unless they're prepared correctly. My computer restarted itself. <laughs> Thank you, Windows, for doing this on your own. Your computer <laughs> restarted itself. <laughs> Way to go, Windows. I hate Windows. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Okay. I would think we can get through this without it. It's fine. Um, so. You can think of it as like Fugu on Earth. Oh, it's okay. updating. That's why. Yeah. It decided to update <laughs> in the middle of this. Awesome. It's fine. It's fine. Because we got two more rounds of this to get through. All right. I've got... I can work with it. Okay. So, um... <laughs> All right, so they're not that difficult to work with. No. Um, I assume that they can kind of like scurry away and sure. whatnot, everything. Yeah. And how many of these are you preparing? A three. Just three. Okay, yes. so you're going to do one, two, three. That's yes. how you're this is a side it? dish? Yes. All right. No, this is my second aspect of my first dish. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're going to... Um, we're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to say that uh, that's going to be... We're going to prepare it first. Okay. To prepare those. So we're going to do... You could either do... One at a time. Okay. Or you could do all three at once. Um, all three at once. All three at once. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's going to be a pretty flashy move you're doing there. Okay. Um, but you might get a big bonus for succeeding in that. So go ahead and roll. Come on. Gosh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. <sighs> four. Ooh. What's your flash yet, though? Three. So your total was four. Yes. Yeah, so um, <laughs> <laughs> so while Holly is watching you and the cameras are rolling, it's all focused on you. Watch this. You throw up the first musk beetle and perfect. <laughs> right down the... <laughs> okay, got that. All right. Watch number two. The second one, when, you, when, the, when the knife comes down, the beetle kind of does like a little flip in midair and kind of smacks your knife oh. a little bit out of the way. Uh, and then it that the beetle falls to the ground totally fine scurries off right oh, and as you're not paying attention the third beetle bites onto your ah! beetle, uh, and it's not letting go that thing is come on get off yeah thrashing <laughs> left and right <laughs> um, <sighs> eventually you're able to get it to launch <sighs> off of you and scurry away oh my god uh, and it kind of scurries over into mess bots uh, area <sighs> okay um, and Holly just kind of like looks at you and kind of goes like, well, that's how it was supposed to work, Holly. Holly! <laughs> it was supposed to work. I only needed one beetle. Uh, so you only have one beetle to work with. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're not going to get a huge bonus from the beetles themselves. Um, but go ahead and uh, if you would like to, you can roll for the um, aspect. Still. I'm going to roll uh, seven. So I had seven in sweet. I'm going to roll against the seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, plus three is seven. So you just you just matched it. All right. And so you're going to take a minus two to that. What? Because the two musk beetles got away. What? Yes. Yeah. So, so you said I wasn't going to get a huge bonus. I got no bonus. Yeah, you got a negative bonus. <sighs> so uh, you get uh, a five, though. So you got a level five. Um, what would you call it? Cardovian musk beetle. What? Paste. Paste. <laughs> I feel like I would have had a different name if it had a higher score. Um, uh, okay. I, someone, uh, I think Zeptic pointed out, don't get blood in your dish, Rick. Don't get blood in your dish. Yeah. No. Uh, that that's makes what she you savory. That's what she said. So, um, Jazzy, did you do your turn? No, yeah. I haven't. Okay, so you Forgot about me already. <laughs> I couldn't remember which turn we were on because we haven't done your uh, turn this round either. I'm gonna, my, my turn, I'm going to go over to uh, Oh, Macron, you're going to go over to Macron? And I want to apologize to him. And I want to talk to him, and I'm going to ask him a few questions. Okay. Mac so, Macron, Mac he's, kind of, he's still kind of like... Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can see he's still like doing stuff, pouring things yeah. all around. The snail seems to be alive. Yeah. And maybe also drunk. Oh. Yeah. 
Macron, I look, yeah. look, look, look. I am so sorry about earlier. You kind of startled me. I didn't want to hurt my dish. I, I, I just, I want to ask you a few questions because I heard that you're like the best zombie year. Who, who are you again? Zombie. I'm Scuba. Zombie year? Scuba! Yes, Scuba. Yes. My we favorites. met earlier. Yes, Scuba. Uh, Under the sea. So I wanted to ask you a question since you're so good with wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you help me pair Ash, something? Ash and Comet just subscribed. Mm. Thank you guys. Drop some bears. Thank you, Ash and Comet. Uh, 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 so you're trying to get you want. I, I want help, him. Okay. My, 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 what I want to do. Uh -huh. So I want to trick him. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm being clever. Yeah. I want to ask him what wine I should or what aperitif wine I should pair with my dish. Okay. And if he has it, I want to take it. Okay. I'm going to be very nice about it. So I will say this. So just so you know, because you've already plated your dish, you can't pair anything with it to get a bonus. Oh, I can't. Because that's considered a side aspect. Oh, I didn't know that. But you can take it away from him. So you can take it away from him. You can sabotage him. You can do things to other people. But is once the dish not... is plated, it's done. <laughs> oh, like maybe okay. ask him. I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Well, that sucks. So the other thing that you could do, if you wanted to, you could try and prepare another sweet dish. And I don't see think if you I'll can be come able up to have time better. To plate it, but though. yeah, but that's the thing is like, yeah. if that's why you want to be careful about. Well, you can prepare it now, and then when we have one turn, we can plate it. Yeah, but her turn's already over there. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. See, I didn't realize that. If I had known that, I wouldn't have plated. See, I think you got to sabotage. You can sabotage. Okay. Who are you gonna sabotage? I'm still at Macron. <laughs> <laughs> so Hello, Scoob. What are you making How over here? You? It smells so delicious. Oh, it's pretty good. I can't tell you those. <laughs> I bet you have a really good wine, though, with it. <laughs> wine. Yeah. <laughs> I like wine. You do? Can I, oh. May I try some of that wine? Oh, very good wine. <laughs> may I try some of it, though? So, how about... It sounds so good, but what you're making, I want to try that wine, and I want to steal it. <laughs> it's okay because he doesn't listen to what so, you're saying so um yeah he sort of like he starts to like pour like another like a little glass yeah. you know to the side it's very strong it was give you a little bit all right so i take it now i'm gonna not take a sip mm -hmm. i'm just gonna like just throw it behind your back okay and like i'm just gonna pour it behind my back all right so do a sneaky uh oh i have sneak that. i have sneak oh i am sneak i oh. am sneak why she sneak so two three three six Okay, and let me see, let me pull up his thing now that my computer's back on. Yay! <laughs> do 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 do. I just gotta see his stats. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. See, Matt I Carl. wanted to take get his opinion, take his wine, and as an aspect, but I didn't realize once it's plated, it's done. Yeah, and so that's what I was trying to say earlier. Was that like, yeah, once you've it can't be messed with, but it can't be messed with. It can't be messed yeah. with, but it can't be messed with. Exactly. So in, in future cook-offs, yeah, you can make additional dishes that's because you're making know. them for multiple judges, mm -hmm. right? Just like in Battle Chef. Um, and so you know you can kind of like work around that. And you'll have way more turns, so mm -hmm. you'll probably want to spend more time. Right. This is just the fast cook. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, you, you rolled a what total? Uh, six. A six. Yeah, six. Okay. So let me... Ooh. Ooh. So Four, four, six, seven, just alone there. So you were trying to steal his wine from him, right? Yeah. So uh, you kind of like reach over, but the problem is that for, for whatever reason, you forgot you had another hand. Uh, <laughs> so like you reach over to try and steal the bottle and your other hand just kind of like punches him right in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to read the label. How? Oh, sorry. Dare you. And then like he like kind of like his eyes suddenly go dark and his okay. mouth opens up and his fangs extend. <gasps> All right. And so then like as if, you know, uh, coming from some otherworldly place, his um, his drunkenness seems to almost fade away mm -hmm. and his claws come out of him like Ooh. that. And he grabs the nearest thing he can find, which is a rolling pin. And he swings at you. Whoa! Oh, yeah. So, and as he's doing that, he says, Don't ever touch a vampire's wine! It's, for some reason, they love wine. <laughs> it, it looks blood. like yeah. blood. So, uh, roll a quick to try and avoid oh, this. God. With the quickness. I, it keeps falling. Ooh, uh, one. Two, four. That's five, five six. Not too bad. 
Six, yep. So you roll a six. Uh, Creeper Wolf Gaming, 100 bits. I tried to donate with Google Pay card, but it but, didn't work. So aw. bits instead. Aww. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Creeper Wolf. I would not take food from things that are food. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so he swings at you, mm -hmm. but you're able to dodge it. Um, and... Uh, he even opens himself up. Like, he's he kind of goes a little off balance. Ooh. Yeah. Okay? So, do you want to take advantage of that in some way? Uh, yeah. Ooh. While he's, bal he's off balancing, I'm going to try to duck under him and mm -hmm. grab the wine anyways. Okay. So, he swings over your head angrily. Yeah. You duck right under his arm, grab the wine anyways, and then retreat back towards Yay. your station. His <laughs> wine's stolen. Well, there you go. And he's spun around in a circle, and now suddenly he's... Oh, there it, it is again. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I need more wine! And so then he turns and saunters back towards the middle. Altar. Does he know that she stole his wine? No. Okay. Oh. No. And he won't remember it either. Nope. So. Uh, My name's Scuba. <laughs> Scuba! <laughs> So you got lucky there. You you had a big fail, but then you succeeded at defending uh, against his retaliation. Um, so, uh, Ash, your turn. Me? Yeah. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> Yuzuchi says he will come back for that wine, Jess. <laughs> uh, all right. I think... Let's see here. Yeah, I'd like to... Continue to add on something to my dish, so I'm going to try to make some rice, some some savory rice. Like maybe I I chop up a little bit of um of the snail and okay. uh, use some of the snail meat and make like a fried rice to go along with my okay. fry. Okay, so so you're using the snail, which has a sweet flavor. How are you going to get a different flavor into that rice? Uh, so I'll marinate it in mm. maybe some uh some poison or some soy or some uh i don't know some so you've already what are the two flavors you've already got you got sweet and you got spicy so you're adding it's like a savory i am you're adding a savory okay uh so you chop up a little bit of the uh snail you mm -hmm. throw in some kind of sauce with that some into the sauce, rice some some, some veggies rice. and stuff okay. to go along with it. gotcha yeah um <clears throat> so you let's see go ahead and roll for savory okay uh, do I need to declare what I want to go for? Yeah. Figure out what uh, difficulty you want to aim for. All right. I'm going to aim for six this time. going to aim for a six. And yep. what's your uh, total? I, I have a plus two. Plus two. Okay. So Ash is going for a six. He's four. Uh -oh. No. One, two. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. So, um, you burn it. I burn <gasps> it. You burn oh, it. Oh, no, Ash. And uh, the downside of burning it, okay, is that... Kitchen Arena, as everyone knows, has a state-of-the-art uh, fire suppression system. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, right above you, sprinklers <laughs> open up, start spraying everywhere. Oh, no. What do you do? Uh, all right, my, my, my immediate reaction is to grab a bowl and try to cover my first dish, the stir-fry, okay. with the sauce. Okay, so... Uh, Roll a quick. Okay. All right. Ash has plus one to quick. Plus one to quick. Uh, what is that? One, one two, two, three, four. Three, plus five. Four. Uh, five. So plus one, five. Yeah, I got five. Okay. So, uh, luckily, you're able to move quickly on your feet. You get the dish covering over your... Uh, previous dish, so mm -hmm. no damage happens. Like, you were aware. You, you recognized it before it was going to happen. You saved your original dish. So no damage has befallen your dish. But you have burned your fried rice, and it's ruined. All right. You will not be able to add that to your dish. Got it. That's your turn. Okay. Now. What turn? Uh, okay, so we're moving into the final turn now, right? We're moving into turn... No, this is turn four. Four. Oh, there's only four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have okay. one more turn after that. Um, I will say that uh, I personally, I added an additional turn. It should have only been four turns is what the game said. And I okay. added another one because I figured we might have some issues. So uh, normally it, this would be the last turn. Okay. Um, now, before that turn ends, though, um, Messbot starts like uh, having alarm 
uh, sounds like, oh, blaring no. off of him. Oh, no. He's like, intruder alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> intruder alert! And you see the beetle that got away from you <laughs> oh. scurrying across the top of his uh, counter. And you see, like, his bladed hands, all of his different arms, like, chopping to try and stop it, but it keeps on scurrying past him. So, see him doing this. And in his fury, right through the middle of his dish. Oh! Whoa. I and inadvertently then, sabotaged his meal. But then he looks at you. And you can tell that he knows <laughs> that it came from you. He is so He's upset. Not happy. All right. Next turn. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so this is turn four. Is that wrong? Yeah, We're about to start turn four. About to start turn four. Okay, so. No, I uh, thought this was turn. Yeah, because I had marked off turns one, two, and three. So I thought five. that was turn four. Yeah. This well, is five. This is the last turn. Is because it? I was going to, I, I didn't have time to make another dish. Yes. So, so I think we you've collected, only done three things. We collected the ingredient. Yeah. I made yep. my stir fry. I made yep. my sauce. Yeah. And then I burnt the, the thing. Because I collected my ingredient. Yeah. Yep. Right. I went and I saved yeah. her. Yeah. And then I did two. Right. So we're coming to turn five. Yes. Yep. So y'all will want to plate. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you can do one more thing to try and sabotage or do whatever. Mm. Um, so uh, in this uh, final uh, round, you see Macron quickly rush back from the altar nothing happens to him on his way back and you see him finally throw like just throwing stuff together it's like all of a sudden he's sobered up and he's aware like oh crap this is about to happen <laughs> so furiously putting a dish together messbot is looking right at you yeah he is. And he is coming <laughs> into your zone right now oh god and he has his eyes and his blades looking right at your dish okay and he's going right for it what do you do I'm going to. He is like, like I'm talking. He, it's like straight shot right for your dish. Not even looking at you, just bzzz, heading right for it. Uh, I'm going to use a quick movement mm -hmm. to rescue my dish. Okay, so what are you going to try and do to rescue your dish from? I'm spot? going to try to. Um, I'm going to swap it out. Is what I'm going to do. Okay. So you're going to try and sneak another dish into its place of some sort. No. No, no, I'm just going to quickly grab it. I'm just going to grab it out of the way. Okay. And so that he's gonna, just going to swing it into midair. Okay. So I'm going to just move it out of the way, put it on the table. Just super quick. I feel like you're going to lose a... You're going to just move it onto another table. Yeah. Just I'm just gonna, he's going to come okay. down over here. I'm just going to move it out of the way. So roll your, uh, roll your quick. Okay. You're going to lose a tentacle, Rick. I'm not going to lose a tentacle. Too quick for that. Roll for losing a tentacle. Mm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You what's lost your, a tentacle. What's your total roll? A four. A four. It's not great. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Get Even worse. Uh, so, uh, in his rage, Messbot is not paying that close of attention. And as he goes to chop down, he's using so many of his arms that he actually kind of gets tangled up in his yes. own arms yes. uh, so even though you weren't that quick on the draw you were able to get your dick and move it away thank goodness but he's not done oh, God. so you can see that he's pulling his arms apart he's trying his best to get them apart and he mm -hmm. does okay he's like your beetle sabotaged my dish i am now going to destroy yours move away or you will be my next target do you understand and i'm gonna look at him and say oh, yeah. That's what you're going to say. That's exactly what you're going to say. I know the donations aren't even, but I'm so glad I made it home to catch some of the slides. Oh, even if we've got no idea what's thank going you, on. Big Alex Whoops. Thank you, so much. Amazing. Now, okay. I'm going to use my cleverness. So I'm going to. I'm just going to say this just to remind you. Yes. You did have an interaction with him earlier. Oh, exactly. That's what I'm... Okay. Exactly. I'm going to use my cleverness to bring up the issue in the bedroom. <laughs> right. We're going to refer to it as the bedroom incident. The bedroom long. incident. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> hey, listen up, mess bot. Don't forget who's the boss in our room, all right? We have to go back here at the end of the night, all right? And I'm the guy in the big bed, and you're the guy in the cot. Don't forget your role. Wow. Ooh. So that's that's aggressive is what that sounded like to me. And then, wait, no, I, 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 I say, hey, listen up, mess bot. Don't forget... <laughs> Remember that incident in the room? We're friends. We're roommates, all right? We're buddies. What happened was an accident. I'm sleeping on the big bed. You're sleeping on the cot. Maybe we can switch it up. Ooh. Okay. We can oh, share the bed. So you're off. Maybe. Okay. Share Wait. the bed? We both have eight arms. 
Wink, wink. It's a lot of possibilities wink, there. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Okay. So Imagine now, what we could do with 16 what arms. What happens in Uranium Kitchen stays in Uranium Kitchen. Wow. So I'm going to call that, uh, we're going to call that sneaky. Okay. Okay. So let's roll a sneaky because you're attempting to do some little subterfuge here in order to get him not to pay attention to what's going on here. All right. God damn it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just rolled a zero. What's your total? One. Yeah, that's not what yeah, you Yeah, uh, <laughs> So, um, every time. <laughs> I am not swayed by your simple uh, offering of a bed. I am going to destroy your dish immediately. And so he swings down and it's coming right. You're holding your dish in your hand and it's coming right for your Can hands. I try to help? Sure, what do you want to do to try now? Uh, I still have that bottle. Uh -huh. I'm going to throw it at Messbot. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. Oh. I, my whole plan on getting mm -hmm. the bottle to use in my dish yeah. has been foiled. Sure. So what am I going to do with this bottle Amazing. of wine? Go for it. it. Yeah, go for so, it. So uh, what would that be? Uh, let's call it. Well, let's do, I want to do careful aim and make sure it hits Careful me. aim. Okay, got it. Yeah. Rick. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's two, two three, three four, four. What's your total? Five, Zero. six. Six. Okay. We're going to call that a just success. Yes. All right. So, uh, Rick, so. you're sitting there, knife <sighs> coming down right about to strike right into the so middle of your guy. dish and ruin everything. And you just see this wine bottle <laughs> shatter <laughs> right all over Messbot's face. And I'm like, uh, scuba, scuba, <laughs> scuba. <laughs> Holly Go Light Wave appears. Oh, it looks like we have our first knockout. And then suddenly, like, some music starts playing, like, <laughs> knockout. And Messbot, like, starts erring and just kind of, like, falls down. I love you it. You have been saved. And then I look over and I say, Thank you so much, Scuba. I didn't want you to get hurt. Oh, you're my friend now. Oh. I'm glad that we worked next to each other. But it's actually Wendy. Oh. <laughs> Scuba. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. I'll, I'll figure it out. Can, can I write it down for you? Yeah. Okay, give me one of your tentacles. <laughs> and, and just like Sharpie. Wendy. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to read humans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Don't you uh, have the, the, the implant in the back of your head? That's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, your dish is unaffected. Yes. Um, <sighs> can I plate that son of a gun? <laughs> Uh, yes, you may uh, plate that son of a gun. Oh, good, I'm plating. Does he need to roll for plating? He does need to roll for plating. Okay. So, uh, well, and uh, what kind of, uh, how fancy plating are you going to do? How fancy is it? Oh, right. Um, you can't, uh, so because of what just happened, yes. the ruckus, you can't go for anything too, uh, fancy because okay. half of your turn has been taken up by dealing with all this. Okay. Um, so it's got to be a little bit of a hasty plating. So, um, oh, so I can roll for, what, what am I rolling Four. Uh, well, so first you got to tell me what's what kind of plating does it look like? What are you trying to make it look like? Uh, it's it's basically like a, um, like I said, like a pork loin, like a rolled pork loin. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be uh, the loin of the sugar snail mm -hmm. rolled with the musk beetle paste. Okay. Is it know? so? Normally, would it be like a very carefully plated thing, or is it more like a rustic kind of? It's it's very rustic. Okay. So then we'll call that. Um, Let's say you roll for. Hold on a second. We'll call it. Um, so real quick. Real okay. quick. Okay. Real quick. All right. Okay. I got you one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get a plus one plating aspect. Nice. Uh, rugged um, sugar snail roll with a Cardovian musk beetle uh, paste. So that puts me at thirteen. It puts you at thirteen. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Ash. Thanos. It's not Jasmine first? Oh, no, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to go over here and make sure <laughs> that... So on brand. That, uh, uh, Mechbot is all right? Messbot. Messbot. But I also <laughs> want to inspect and see if there's anything that's useful to me. 
In like later stages. Like in, oh, so you want to learn something about Mesbot. So you're like trying to, oh, are you okay? But really yeah. you're trying to figure something out about it. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to call that, we're, again, we're going to call it Sneaky. We're going to call that Sneaky. Oh, I have a Sneaky. Um, so I assume, so you're going up there, you're like, oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But you're like really like, it's like you would be like reaching into his wallet and stuff like that. Yeah. A space wallet. Also mentioned I want early, more information. 830 bucks away from Whoa! Wow. So, so close, y'all. Cool. So close to making gingerbreads. All right. uh, It'll be a gingerbread contest, right, though. We'll so yeah, see who can make sneaky. the best one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, plus seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, so you're... Let me, let me look at what he's got, just to be sure. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> the names of these things that they give are incredible. Uh, okay, so. Um, I gotta write down information for Jazzy because you, oh, you can't just have more you info. Yeah, 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 Jazz is just getting all the intel. She is. See, I just want to—I want to bank the points this time, and then I'll go do sneaky stuff, try to get some info the next round. You know, just bank well, it I already cemented my place, I think, in the next round. Well, I cemented. What what level is your dish? Eleven. I'm thirteen. I know, but thirteen. He's out. That's true. So that's true. He's out. His dish is ruined. Zoro, how you doing over Which there? Which makes me what? You What'd doing? you call me? Did you call me Zoro, <laughs> sir? <laughs> All right. I'm not one of. I'm not one of your blue finian buddies you can just make up names for. They're not made up. I made them. <sighs> what, your imaginary friends? Because those are the only ones you can get. Are you imaginary? <sighs> I don't know if you're <laughs> stupid or if you're just playing me. Okay. So you learned a couple of things about Messbot. <laughs> uh, because you were able to reveal a little bit. Like, basically, you um, wow. were kind of fiddling around uh, with a couple of the buttons on his body and one of them revealed like a little kind of readout of information. It was basically the digital version of a diary. Oh, so this thing, is that something he can do? That's something that he can do. Okay. But now that you're aware of it, maybe you could pull, you know, call on that at some point if you oh. were to want to. Um, right. Or you could at some point maybe take advantage of that or use your knowledge of that against him. A okay. couple of those things. So, uh, somehow... Nobody sees you do this. <laughs> um, not even the cameras. Like, it's crazy how that keeps happening. Uh, <laughs> She's just so forgettable. I, lo so I love it because your roles have been so good that it has straight up just been that, like, yeah, no one is paying attention to you on this show. They think that you're just somebody wandering onto the set. Uh, all right. Is that, that's the end of your turn, huh? Yep. Uh, all right. Ash? All right. Um, I need a plate. You got a plate. So I'm gonna try to go for a clever design. Something clever. I'm gonna I'm gonna all take right. all my, my nice little pieces of um of the snail that uh -huh. I've uh, fried up in my stir fry. Uh, piece them in like a very geometric shape on Ooh. my plate, hmm. and then uh, add like several uh, pools of the um of the sauce that I've used a stencil for to, wow. uh, to add some more symmetry and design. Wow, this is a to very, this guy. very yeah. intricate uh, yeah. plating that you're going for. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and roll. So you're saying that's clever? I'm hoping it's clever. All right. Hoping it's clever. Yeah. No, that sounds that sounds clever. Uh, Look how so, clever that fish is. Looks so clever that clever fish. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and roll for it. All right. Uh, Mass base plating, impressive. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. Okay. Uh, you succeed and you do a very impressive job. Um, you, the, the pools come out exactly how you want it. Stacking comes out exactly how you want it. Everything is looking perfect. Um, and so, so you get a plus two. Sweet. Um, so we'll call that plus two math plate. <laughs> uh, okay so unless you have a better name for it <laughs> no math plate sounds fine <laughs> okay um so that's everyone's dishes that's, that's everyone's weird. dishes so we move on to judging yes Ooh, i want to see what judging? these jerks make and this will probably be where we'll end the stream at which will be fine i think after yeah. the first 
cook off. We'll get through the judging and then uh, we'll call it there. And then if we want to do more of this in the future, we can pick back up where we left off. Yeah. Um, or we can switch to a different game. Whatever people want to do. Let's go ahead. This is a lot of fun, I'll say. This is really I actually fun. really like this. Isn't it great? Yeah. Oh, Corner being wallpaper. wallpaper. Can't stop donating. But seriously, donate way more than I should. <laughs> loving Stumpness. Loving the stream. Love you guys. Thanks, Doctor. Love Doctors Without Borders. It's worth being tired tomorrow for Aww. this. Thank you so much. You appreciate I the love heck out of Rick's little. Uh, I had to accent. pick up my pencil. I was leaning <laughs> down. <and kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we move on to the judging station. Um, <laughs> hashtag two plus two equals plate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so let me go to Ashes Fish. Ashes Fish is so good. It's ah. so good. Put it this way. Ah. There you go. One you second. got it. Ah. Okay. So <laughs> that's the big smile. old knife. Ah. <laughs> so Doctor Durian, <clears throat> the host of the show, uh, he is also the judge for the quick cookoffs. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, think if like. Mel and Sue were the judges from yeah. uh, British Bake Off. Um, so, uh, Dr. Durian looks very much like Winston. Giant metal arm, green fur, but otherwise, it's Winston. Right? So he comes up, hey there, how's it going? Um, so, uh, you each uh, created your dishes. Um, so, you bring them up one by one to the judge's table okay. and are judged as such by um, Dr. Durian. Um, so, um, let's see. Okay, and then I just need to go read about Dr. Durian's preferences. They oh, all have preferences. oh, preferences. Okay. What are you clicking on there, Ash? I'm switching up the tunes. Let's I feel like we need some, some finale music. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, good to know. Um, <clears throat> better like sweet. That's all I gotta say. So, you all bring your dishes before uh, Dr. Durian. Uh, and you're all given a moment, you know, to talk about your dish, mm -hmm. to present it to him, and to yeah, get your score. Mine doesn't stand up. Uh, I know. We gotta blew you a so, bigger base. First, we have Macron. Ma Macron. All right. So, yeah. Macron kind of stumbles up to the uh, judges' station. He has this dish, which strangely looks better than you thought it would. Uh, and kind of holds it out. He says, Have you the body in sugar snail escargot with wine? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I, can I wine look at sauce. his table? Does he, has the snail still on the counter? <laughs> the snail is not still on the counter, but oh. it is plopped right in the middle of this dish. It does still seem to be moving a little. <laughs> and is his dish just a glass of wine? <laughs> no. The snail is just in. <laughs> no, it is on a plate. Okay. Right? The same plate that he seemed to be feeding the snail off of earlier, <laughs> but it's cleaner. It's cleaner than you expected it to be. Okay. Um, so, uh, Dr. Durian kind of grabs the plate and kind of, you know, doesn't even know quite what to do with it, right? And sort of like lifts the snail up, kind of looks at it. Throws the whole thing in his mouth and just chomps down on Rock it. Shell all? and all. Whoa. Right? He's like... He's a very strong... And then... Strong space monkey. Drinks the wine out of the uh, saucer. Well, it's a very unconventional preparation. But not terrible. I do like raw snails. However, it doesn't seem to have been prepared. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Next, please. Uh, so... The next person to come up will be Rick. Okay. Wait, not Rock or Coco? No, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll I'll, I'll get through everybody. Okay. So, uh, he here I have a sugar snail loin roll for you, uh, made with, uh, musk beetle paste. It's a sweet and savory dish. I hope mm. to your liking. Then you present. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of takes the roll, you know, cuts into it a little bit, takes a nice big bite, and goes, Mmm. Mmm. The musk paste is quite nice. Thank I, you. I am a fan of the Cardovian musk beetle. Thank you. And it goes very well with the sugar snail roll. Oh. Normally you wouldn't think to mix these two flavors together, but I do appreciate them. Not a lot of people know this, but 
uh, Cardovian musk beetles are actually the second largest beetles in the uh, Solovian galaxy. It's true. Yes. Uh, I know this. <laughs> you, I'm sure there are a lot of things you know. Yeah. Thank you. Very well done. Well, I thank you, sir. Thank very, you. Very tasty. Uh, next up, we have uh, Ramsey. All right. Coco Ramsey. She comes up. Uh, and so, um, you know, she... Uh, presents her dish and she says uh, I've made for you a nice sweet uh, Cardovia or uh, the Bothian snail uh, uh, sugar cookie with uh, a nice side of a chocolate sauce Ooh! I think it goes very well and the chocolate actually comes from a dimension where chocolate tastes like vanilla so it's very different but it's delicious interesting so uh, Dr. Durian reaches up, he grabs the cookie, dips it a little bit in the chocolate, takes a bite. Hmm. Hmm. Did you also use Cardovian musk beetles? Because I'm tasting a little bit of Cardovian musk. <laughs> and I actually like it. I really appreciate that. That's quite good. And Coco kind of like looks around like nervously as soon as he says like the musk beetles. And then she looks over to her station, and you can see the other musk beetle that got Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> From Rick. Kind Thank of. you, Sam Bryant. So good watching you guys Whoa! do live roleplay. It's such a good cause. $100. Thank you so $100. Thank Appreciate you, Sam the heck Bryant. out of you. Uh, so you see the little musk beetle kind of like digging around in all of her ingredients and kind of spraying little clouds here and there. Uh, can I look to her and just sort of give her like a wink? <laughs> <laughs> You, you uh, uh, go ahead here. Uh, go ahead. Roll and flashy. Her. Roll for. Wait. Oh, roll I, flashy. I am flashy. Just lost the dice again. All right, uh, my rolls are crap tonight. So I got two, three plus five. I got five. Five total. Yeah. Uh, she sort of sees you wink and then kind of does like one of these like. <laughs> She's like, Ew. not quite. <laughs> more confused than anything else uh all right so um then sandy wendy S oh wendy w wendy scooby wandy come on come on up wandy all right <laughs> so i pick up my trifle i was like mm -hmm. here is my uh verbothian sugar snail sugar snail trifle and it's got, I can't remember what it's called. It's a four tier Vibothian sugar snail trifle with Zorbian strawberry curls. Yeah, the Zorbian strawberry curls is actually really refreshing. And it cuts through some of that nice mousse that I've made. Oh, yes, I've been to Zorbian. It's very nice there. I do like their strawberries. They're very good. Takes a nice big spoonful. Takes it. Takes a bite. Hmm. This is quite good, however. I am not oh, a fan yeah. of foods without additional flavors. This is one note, sweet, and I'm not getting anything <sighs> but the sweet. Mm. Miranda Mythblood with $100, tips go into a good cause, Mary's dumb is all. Thank you so much, Thank Miranda. You, Miranda. So you could tell that uh, he liked what you made, but at the same time- I some, needed more. You yeah. needed more in there, right? Okay. So, overall though, very well done. Very well prepared moves. I just wish that there was something more. Uh, next up, Messbot. Is he still alive? <laughs> He's just sort of like laying there, <laughs> and there's an empty plate sitting on top of him. <laughs> oh, someone was kind enough to at least put a plate. Yeah. On him. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he just sort of was sitting there, and uh, <laughs> Doctor Durian just sort of like looks at him and goes, "Full nose." <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, let's see here. Dr. Dorian, I have, uh, I've prepared for you my, uh, sugar snail stir fry with a spicy sauce made from my own home planet's red chili peppers. Oh, quite nice. And what is your home planet? Bluefin. Bluefin! I love Bluefin. Ever since it's been taken over by the Nagiri, it's been such a wonderful oh, place yeah. to be. <laughs> <laughs> I pro. Hey, wish I could give more, but PayPal's too slow. Told you the first day I would donate more at a later date. Aww, Ten dollars and forty-one cents. Thank, thank you, you Hypra. So Ash's <laughs> smile just faded. Just fades right it out of your face. It just faded. But uh, Doctor Durian doesn't seem to really notice that. 
because he's so entranced. Oh, right? yeah! Ooh, oh, yeah! yeah. Torch Torch July. Can this count as a bribe towards a game suggestion? <laughs> Seriously, though, no, thank you all for doing this drive. Thank, thank you, Lord Thank you so much. Um, so, you know, he says that statement, but before he can even notice your, like, uh, sour face, he looks at the dish and kind of his eyes light up like, Oh, my. This looks quite wonderful. What did you say was in this again? Blue fin red chili peppers. Mm. Mm. Those oh, Nikki yeah. really know how to grow. Whoa, Fiverr attack. Wonderful, delicious. Fiverr attack with $50. Thank, Thank you, you Fiverr. Thank you so much. Oh, delicious chili pepper. Quite mm. delicious. Oh, that is fantastic. You should be very proud of your work. This is quite good. Quite good indeed. So. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> time. Uh, okay, so he's tried every dish. Okay? Now you all line up. He says, First, I need to say who is at the bottom. And that would be the one who is still on his bottom. My <laughs> <laughs> squad has failed this challenge. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything bad. It just means he lost this challenge, this one challenge. This all counts towards the next challenge as well, right? They consider both things together, much like in. Mm -hmm. the British uh, Great British Bake Off. Um, but now, the winner of this challenge is Thanos. What? Uh... <laughs> Your sweet sugar, sugar snail stir fry with spicy blue fin chili sauce and a math plate. How glorious was that math plate? It really put it over the edge. Quite delicious indeed. Thank you so much for feeding me. This wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. You have won this challenge. Everyone, give a round of applause for Thano. Yay! And thank you, Camo Catherine, five dollars oh twelve cents. And you, yeah. for a hundred dollars, supporting the great cause. Love to see more of What's this. What's that? Put us at. Thank you so much. What's our total at? Yeah. Our total is now at nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Pretty awesome, guys. My goodness. Good lord. My goodness, y'all. That's guys incredible. Are amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Way to go, Thunnus. So, Thunnus. Real wins. happy for you. I did this for my people, y'all. <laughs> How many points was your dish worth? Uh, uh, his dish ended up being worth 15. Damn, son. So, uh, to, to pull back the veil. So, that was, that'll be the end of the session, I think. Let me see if there's anything else to, like, close out the stuff. And then I'll, I'll talk through kind of, like, what happened there on, in terms of the um, judging. Um, so, do, 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 do. Uh, the winner, ah, okay, and the winner receives a free popularity aspect. So what Ooh. that means is, because you won, oh, yeah. you gotta get to say something to the fans. <gasps> um, Corsair B. What? Up, lordy. No, and look at what Sooner K did. Sooner K, did. K too! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my goodness, you guys. Whoa! Everyone trying to snipe that towards the very Whoa. end. Corsair Bebop Ryan, 20k send it, has been overly generous this entire My goodness! Guys, thank you so Yo. much, you two. And then Sooner Kate Sooner with another Kate. 500. Holy butt! Too that goal. You guys, amazing. amazing. We love all the support for Incredible. Dr. At the Incredible. buzzer, you guys got us to 20k. My that exceeds goodness. our wildest dreams for That's this crazy. year. That's Amazing crazy. job, you guys. Y'all are crazy. the best. We're gonna have to plan out a uh, gingerbread. We gotta do gingerbread. Bean we gotta do bean boozled oh. gingerbread. Yeah, we'll put same bean time. boozled on the gingerbread. <laughs> um, so, uh, a popularity oh, aspect. I'm so happy we hit it. This is an aspect that you can call upon um, that has to do with the audience, right? So basically, because you won, you're gonna get a bonus in the eyes of the audience. Okay. It's all oh. gonna be based on now you need to give like a little speech to the audience in terms of, you know, your success and everything like that. What? <gasps> how do you feel now that you oh. You know, I feel just really energized and ready to go into the next round. You know, I, I went in there um, and when I saw that it was a uh, when I saw that it was sugar snails, I just I, I knew immediately this is my round. This is me because I've been trained for so long in dessert fusion. It's like this ingredient was chosen just for me, and now I'm ready to take it to the next round and win this thing for the people of Bluefin. Woo! Yay, no! People are clapping, everything like that. Holly Go Light Wave pops up right next to you. Congratulations! I am so proud of you. What a great way to start off this season of Uranium Chef. <gasps> and then it cuts away. All right, so that, that's going to be the end of this session. You now have a popularity aspect uh, that we can flesh out later if you want to, but it's sure. going to have to do with uh, you've got kind of like a fan favorite 
uh, popularity aspect because you were being so positive uh, about that and you're talking about being energized and everything so it's like people like they look at you and they go this is someone who's got gumption they're gonna make it happen yeah All right so uh, what happened with the scores so Ash got a 15 all right, the total was seven from the sweet sugar snail stir fry, six from the spicy blue finian chili sauce, and a plus two for the math plate uh, plating aspect. The Rick plating. got a 13, um, seven from the sugar snail roll, five from the cardiovian musk beetle paste, plus one from the plating, because you had to do it quickly because Messbot messed with you. So you got a 13 total. So you're behind Ash by two. So you got second place. Um, Jazzy, you got third place. Yeah. Uh, you had started with an 11. Um, uh, from your sugar snail trifle, which mm -hmm. is definitely the highest level anybody got on their original thing, but obviously you didn't put any sides on it. And Dr. Durian has a, uh, what is it called? It's a specific thing that says that he hates foods that don't have multiple aspects. Oh, uh, okay. So you got a minus two oh. for not having So that's what I was going to ask. Was it, is it purely just about the points? Because it's got to be more about the like the judge's own personal taste. The judge's well. personal taste come in. So all the judges have See, I know little now, though, I can't it. plate... I can't mess right. with you don't want to like exactly, that. and so, but that's fine because like that. Honestly, that's what the first round is about. Is yep. like figuring yeah. out that stuff. So if we play in the future, now you know. Mm -hmm. um, and in the future, when we have more rounds, you will have the opportunity. Like you could try and make a dish, um, add a bunch of side aspect to it, and then you could even try and go for a second dish to try and like yeah. you know do an even better one or make one for somebody else or whatever. Right. So mm -hmm. it's like there's ways of getting around. And that. like the next round, if we were to do it. Uh, is supposed to be 10 rounds. Is that right? It's like 10 rounds, and you guys are on a team. Oh! oh. It's a pretty exciting one. And it's got a really cool theme that is... Go I'm... I hope we do it, okay? Because I think it'll play very well. Too. Well, you so, guys will have to let us know yeah. if you guys want to see us do it. I'll say the other stuff that I was hoping to do, like I had asked specifically if huh. these were sea snails because I wanted to talk to the snail. Specifically asked it, ask it like, yo, I know this is dark, but have any of the judges say how they would like to eat you? Oh goodness! <laughs> or you could talk to the like another contestant snail, like, hey, hey, yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah. you do realize you're about to get cooked and eaten, yeah, yeah, yeah. and be like, ah, no, nah. it scuttles away. <laughs> Uh, so what I will say is keep that in your back pocket for next time. Yeah. For um, sure. I got a lot of info. Yeah, Jazzy, guys... Jazzy's got the book that's going to carry oh, her to the season finale. So she'll just and have so, to... Well, I wonder how long that uh, mess bot info is going to stay relevant <laughs> because if it gets voted he off the end of this trouble. episode. So, and here's the other thing I will say. All right, Jazzy getting information is the very smart thing to do. And especially because in the next round, the judges will come in and sit halfway through. <clears throat> you can try and snoop you can try and woo. You can try to do all kinds of things to get in, not only in their favor, but to learn things about so, them. Like since I learned something about Messbots, yep. can I actually use his technique now that I know how he does it? You might be able to. Yeah. 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 If you're skilled enough, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I, I think that uh, because of your skill set, you probably could. So that was Uranium Chef for today, our round one. We got through um, six scenes. Not bad, yep. yeah. Uh, and especially because we're still kind of learning how to play it. Yeah. I think that was a lot of fun. That I was show that was a lot of fun. One more time, Ash. What? Before. Yeah, show all of our characters. Show Rick's. Oh, so yeah, let's go through yep. this again. Rick's uh, Zorro character. Zorb. <laughs> it's Zorbabor Borbadorb. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he really is Borbadorable. Uh, Jasmine's uh, scuba character. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy Smith. Wendy. Sandy Wimp. And then uh, my. Thanos character. Thanos! Yeah. <laughs> Thanos. Thanos. I don't really know. Great. You know. I don't really know how to say my it's name. It's Latin or Greek or something. <laughs> um, how do you know where Greece in and Latin, Latin, Latin are? are. <laughs> Where's Latin? <laughs> Uh, yes. So those are the. That's Greece, the amazing like art the by movie. Jasmine, who drew all of our characters. We had created these character sheets like a week ago, and Jasmine drew them all up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Awesome job. Price, thank you for being our DM. Yeah. yeah this was amazing a lot job. A lot of fun yeah. characters. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, I've been Ash, joined by Rick, Price, and Jazzy. We'll catch you all next time. Bye, Bye. guys!